Yep, there we go. Hello everyone, how are you? How's it going, Steve? Yo. Alright, um... So tonight we're gonna throw some swords, by the way. Uh, very excited for that. That is essentially what we're doing tonight. Um, which will make sense once we start playing games, but it's, uh... Gonna be chaotic gameplay for sure. Um... Yeah, I forgot, I have to give us a pile shuffle. But, what we also have to do is the Patreon sticker giveaway. So last week was really chaotic, uh right when the stream started is pretty much right when the tournament went live so we weren't able to do the sticker, way, sticker giveaway because there was also literally no time in, be in between rounds because i was playing wind merlin um this week we i throw a trash deck um this week we are doing fire lorraine um but i guarantee you, you have not seen this version before um but it'll still be quicker so we should have some more time in between rounds and stuff and we're starting um, 25 minutes before the tournament starts, so we'll have time to do these things away before. Then what? Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Thank you. Okay, um... So let's go ahead and get that Patreon sticker giveaway going. This. There we go. All right, so we will give away two ASIN and Squirrel stickers, two Grail, two out of five stickers, uh, and then two True Champions Gaming logo stickers as well. Um, we normally do one per week of each variant. Uh, these are given away at random to our patrons, any level, um, all the way from kind support, our $2 a month tier, to our $20 a month uh, champion level three tier. Um, so all of our patrons have a chance to win that every single week, uh, just as an extra thank you uh, for all the support and everything. So since we missed last week's, we'll do two of each sticker in a row. Um, so let's go ahead. I got to pull up a, a list for our winners as well. So I write them down. All right, let's go ahead and go with the first one. It will be for a ASIN and Squirrel sticker. Hello? <laughs> Why does it have no uh, name? It, like, like it was literally right on the line. I couldn't tell who won. Uh, you know what we'll do? You know what we'll do? We'll uh, we will maybe that's a little bit better. Hopefully, um, we will give it to both Michael and. Ravenous Battle. That's what we're gonna do, cause I couldn't tell who it landed on, and we have two of the same sticker to give away as well. So I don't wanna take that victory away from either one of you. So Michael Joyce and Babel. Uh you guys got the Ace and Squirrel stickers. Uh, and then we're gonna remove you guys. Perfect. All right, and uh, let's try this again. We're gonna do the two out of five Grail stickers now. So two separate winners for those. Got Rick. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rick. Move and let's roll again. Still the two out of five Grail giveaway. Girl. All right, and then the True Champion Gaming logo stickers. Got KH, barely, just barely KH. And last sticker of the night. Going to Vin, congrats on the regionals win, by the way, again, Vin. Can't say it enough, man. It was really, really awesome to see that. 
Okay. Go ahead and hide that. So yeah, um, as always, thank you guys so much on Patreon for supporting us. Uh, it's uh, really unbelievable to see how many members we have. Um, so awesome to feel all that uh, love and support, and to know that you know a bunch of people are passionate about GA. Uh, it'll be really interesting to see how Set Three does, how um, all these FTC regionals do, and everything. Uh, we have, I want to say, at least double the amount of regionals, if not more for FTC season than we did in uh, DOA format. And it'll be really, really awesome to see how many people show up to them. Um, we uh, have already announced on like Discord and stuff, um, you know, join our Discord below if you ever want to keep up with announcements. Um, but we haven't really talked about it on videos yet because it just recently happened, but True Champion Gaming will be hosting a Michigan Regionals. Uh, it got added in kind of like out of uh, it wasn't even on the list of possible ones. Um, like, I know Northeast just got announced today. That is by Webway Games over in Massachusetts. And we didn't know the actual details of that one, but it just said Northeast, and that was it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we weren't even on the map. And then uh, out of nowhere, we came in swinging. So we have a Michigan Regionals on December 16th. That's going to be in Ann Arbor. Uh, we've already had quite a few ticket sales. Um, a lot of people saying that they want to come out. So it's looking like it's going to be a pretty good regionals. We will have um, a very large vendor on site as well. Basically, every single non-foil card you could ever need, they will have in stock, uh, as well as a ton of foils. Like it's, it'll be comparable to how vendors were at a cent, honestly. Um, so it's going to be crazy for singles that you might need. Uh, definitely. Definitely nice for that. If you're looking for some foils to finish out your regionals deck, we'll have some of those for sure. And um, yeah, so really looking forward to that. We'll have a merch store as well. We'll be doing, you know, play mats, all that stuff, shirts uh, in person. Um, giving away a few of those as well throughout the regionals, I'm sure. And something else, but I just can't remember right now. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be doing bonus prizing as well. Uh, we took what we what the standard regional surprising was added a little bit extra into that and then we're also planning on doing like a lot of giveaways and stuff like that too so uh, it's going to be a really really good event uh, all of our effort is going to be put into making it a fantastic event and hopefully getting more in the future because i think there's a lot of people in that michigan area that would be willing to travel uh, i i know that we've already had some people from like indiana and ohio and stuff say that they're coming up um, I think some people from Canada as well. So, uh, yeah, I think I think it'll be a really good event. Definitely want to check that out. We do have tickets live for sale on TrueChampionGaming.com. That's linked below. Um, and uh, yeah, all the details are on there as far as like start times, entry fee, prizing, all that kind of stuff. So we might have when uh, my wife be selling altered cards. At the regionals as well. Ooh, that's not gonna focus, is it? But uh, we'll be playing with this on stream. She just finished her first altered card. It is a fire spirit with a uh, red slime, uh, just chilling in a in a bath of lava. So it looks really really cool. Um, she's been having a lot of fun messing around with some ideas for card alters. Just finished this one as her first officially finished design, but she's already working on a couple others too. So. Very, very cool. Uh, we might have those for sale at the regionals as well. We got about 15 minutes before Yeti starts. I don't really know why I started this so early. <laughs> the Patreon giveaway went faster, way faster than I thought it would because the first time I did it, I was manually copying over every single name um, to put it into the wheel. And then this time it was just, I figured out a much faster way to do it. So... <laughs> Uh, it's a good time to maybe answer any questions that you guys have. Uh, if there's anything in the meta that's confusing you, um, Willing's questions that might have came up in your most recent gameplay, although I'm not like officially a judge. Uh, I'm decent with the rules. I'm not even that good, honestly. I feel like uh, Isaac and, and Terry are better with the rules than me. 
do need to give this deck quite a shuffle, though. I just uh, completely organized it before. Very excited to see how tonight goes. Um, basically, I made this deck today um, completely from scratch. Well, that's not true. I took inspiration from Isaac's build that he played in a private game uh, against me, which he took inspiration from one of the Yeti lists, actually. It was a water, um, water luring list, I think. Um, but we've changed it up quite a bit. So very interested to see how it goes. I built it today and went into one test match and it performed pretty well in there. So we're just gonna give it a try. Hopefully it does actually stay coherent. Um, I do think it has some potential actually. It feels like it has some legs, so. Hopefully it'll perform well tonight. Tonight is going to be a little bit more of a focused stream. Um, during the actual matches, I won't be talking to chat as much. Uh, I'm not doing push to talk with my opponent this, this week. I'm just going to leave the mic on. So um, that'll be the reason for a lot less chat interaction during the actual gameplay itself. But after each round, we'll uh, discuss how that match went. Um, I'll catch up on messages and all that stuff and uh, we'll get all that fun stuff going. Yeah. Someone is cleaving against Arthur and two allies. They retaliate with all three allies. Does Arthur give the other two allies is plus one on attack. <laughs> I I would believe so. <laughs> this is why as soon as I said ask me to roll these questions, I immediately regretted it. Cause like I'm not confident in any answer I give you. I do think that would be the case because I believe you rest first to retaliate and then retaliation damage is calculated. So since Arthur would be rested um, his effect would go online, but, uh, yeah, hopefully like Remedic or someone else will, uh, pop in tonight and watch. I know we, we get some judges watching the stream some weeks, so they can give you a for sure answer, but my, my 80% sure answer is yes, they, he would give the attacks. It's always so weird to me when I like swing in against a stalwart shield mate and my opponent has arrested Arthur and they're like, okay, retaliate for one. I'm, I'm all, it always catches me off guard, honestly. I'm just so used to Stalwart not ever, ever being able to do damage. So like I said, guys, we have a unique deck being played tonight. Gonna see some cards that don't normally make it into a meta deck uh, are gonna be played tonight. Definitely have some cards that, I guess it's not too many actually, the more I think about it. It's more just one card, honestly, but it is not, like, I built the deck kind of around the card. So not only is it not really a like meta card, but also it's definitely not one that anyone would probably consider building a deck around. So it'll be interesting to see how it runs tonight. I'm just looking for some, uh, Got tournament announcements posted. 39 players tonight. That's a pretty big amount. What was last week? Last week's was 36. Okay. The week before was 39 too. Wow, that really hovers around that. The week before that was 54. That's right. That's when they just announced that FTC box uh, additional present, I think. Yeah, Yeti's, Yeti's been really consistently just under 40 players, which is quite frankly insane for an online weekly locals. I've never seen a game like that. How's it going, Bird's Eye? Off meta fire card. It's an off meta crux card. Off meta crux card. But we are on Spirit Ruler Lorraine, which is not the crux that usually gets played. So there's definitely there's definitely just some odd things about tonight. It'll I think it'll be a really fun uh tournament to watch i think that like it's it's gonna be a lot funner it's gonna be a lot more fun than um maybe the wind merlin was i, th I think like wind merlin was fun to watch in its own way but that was like very like try hard deck 
um, and I was not trying hard enough with it. Uh, this one is going to be very interesting. There's going to be some interactions that I hope that we can pull off and will be very epic if they happen. Um, it's also going to be like, there's definitely going to be moments with this deck that I'm going to have to sit there and do math like five times over because there's going to be some very, very important uh, calculating. I'll be joining to make that 40 as soon as I manage to get cards. Heck yeah. Yeti's going to keep drawing, man. I feel it. They also had a guaranteed DOA silver pack and a FTC pack, so that 59 might have been more advantageous. Yeah. That's true. No, Yeti, Yeti absolutely kills it with prizing. Uh, I mean, like, they lose money every single week hosting these events. No doubt about it. They lose money. And, uh, but they're doing it to, you know, keep the game healthy. Give a really great place for people to play in online locals. Um, it's like one of my favorite combos now. Yeah. So, so Isaac, who's a peachy KM, obviously part of the team. Um, he, he's the one that I took inspiration from for this list, which, uh, he got the inspiration from another player in Yeti. Um, but I do feel like we've changed the deck up pretty significantly. Sorry, I just dropped a card on the ground. Um, also I'm going to make sure that I actually have 60 cards. Now that I dropped a card on the ground, I always get paranoid about that. Perfect. Oro retaliation is all simultaneous, so Arthur should boost on cleave. Okay. Yeah, Poro is uh, one of the judges from Ascent, so that's uh, as good as an as confirmed of an answer as you'll get. Uh, Steve, yo, it is Ansel, but like it's not just Ansel. That's that's all I can say. <laughs> Trust me, it is not going to be like, like if I was just sitting here playing playing Fire on Solar Rain, honestly, that'd be so boring to watch, like straight up. But I do not think this is going to be boring to watch. Trust me. Um, I'm curious what the Umber Sight, Astro Sight, and Neo Sight are going to be now. Yeah, it'll it will be interesting. I mean, the Sight cards are all like broken in a way. Um, I literally all of them are just unbelievable in their own elements so yeah it'll it'll be interesting to see what they do with their mechanics um because they're, they're going to be good cards just because not not a single class had a bad sight card in set one Ansel is a cool deck until Ansel is bottom half yeah there we do kind of, it, it it is part of our win condition too unfortunately but we can win without it. It's not as easy. I think the sight cards will draw a card. Coral, you're probably right. <laughs> Which is part of what just makes it so crazy broken, right? Because it's like, Lantern's out, Cruxite still draws you a card. You don't necessarily need the level that turn with Rai, um, and you just need a dig, Arcane Sight still draws you a card. Parasite, Literally, I mean, it's it's all about drawing a card, but turns into an unending GCR. Unbelievable card. I, I think Terrasite's the best out of the four, honestly. Luxum Sight, you know, stabilize and heal or draw a card, right? Like, the Sights are crazy cards. It's always so interesting because, like, all third element cards should be stronger, right? That's, like, literally part of their design is that they're, they're locked behind being able to be played at a certain point in the game only, right? And so, like, they should have stronger effects because you can't play this busted card right out of the game on turn one um, to, main, to make an unfair game style, right? Yeah, I mean, you get you get the decks then that are running, like, 18 Crux cards because they're all so broken and people want the value from them. And, um, you know, some people make it work. I still don't get it. I still don't get it. I think tonight we're running a... 10 or 11 card crux count i think i just i i can't find myself going higher than 12 ish yep 
Yeah, it is crazy to think that we have a new proxy card coming out this week. Um, I've like found that a lot of people didn't even know that was happening. Uh, <laughs> um, four days. It'll be it'll be pretty wild. I'm I'm assuming that it's just gonna be straight up one proxy card, and that's it. No ban changes. Um, if anything, like tactful sergeant taken off the watch list. Because the watch list is supposed to reflect the current meta, and Tactful's Tactful hasn't seen play like at all. Um, Freezing Hail kind of hasn't either, but that's more on the watch list because that card inherently interacts with a uh, gameplay state that was different when they designed the card. Basically, the whole like champion not leveling up, um, awakening itself. But yeah, and we can change our clocks this week. I didn't even know that was happening. All right, we should be starting the tournament soon. Uh, let's roll an ad real quick, just so that I don't have to do any during actual gameplay. That's always the number one priority. And for those of you with YouTube Premium, I'm still here, chatting. <laughs> uh, I don't want to see any bans. I don't think we need any, not the close to ascent. Yeah, it is wild, because uh, we are closer right now to New Zealand Ascent than we are when FTC came out towards Houston Ascent, if that makes sense. Like, FTC came out, and then we had a little over a month towards uh, Ascent Houston. And now we are... Oh, you know what? We're ex actually exactly a month away. I think the Ascent's on the 2nd, isn't it? Um, we leave on, like, the 28th or something, because we lose almost a whole day traveling to New Zealand, like, just in time zones alone. And then obviously it's also an extremely long flight. So we lose like over two days just to traveling basically. Um, I think it might be, it might even be three days with the time changes and the actual length of travel and stuff. So we have to leave pretty early. Um, then we're gonna have a few days to rest, uh, get our bodies used to New Zealand and get ready for the tournament. Then we play in the tournament. So yeah, it's uh, getting scary close for other than Crystal, I don't know. Either. Yeah, I mean, nothing needs to be bad. This is such a crazy open balanced format. Um, sure, there's some interactions that do feel stronger than others. But when I say balanced, I mean, like, it doesn't feel like there's any tier zero decks. And it feels like this game has the most tier one decks right now than any other game that I've ever played. Um, besides, like, Edison format Yu-Gi-Oh!, which, like, in Edison format, when it was actually happening in real time, People like people thought it was a tier zero format, or not tier zero, but people thought it was like, you know, a couple decks on top, and that was it. IDK, how would even rank elemental strength right now? Yeah, like it's funny because they all feel like really even, but it feels like no one's playing wind, but it doesn't feel like wind's weak. Like it's very odd. But uh, yeah, outside of outside of assassin, um, I think assassin's still struggling quite a lot, and I mean I. No, nah, I like Crux slash Lorraine, you know, Merlin, Merlin, Lorraine, Crux. It's all still very high, honestly. Um, but like, it doesn't feel like it's dominating. It feels like it's just that because other people, I don't know. It, it feels, it feels like if we spent like three years in this format, right? Like, I feel like it would still be very, very balanced. <laughs> Luke, what's up, man? Ready for the pain at New Zealand? Nah, I'm sure you'll do fine, man. Just practice a lot. Stick with what you know, you know? Definitely, definitely good advice. Good luck at Store Champions, man. Um, Let's see, do we have Yeti events? Or Yeti uh, pairings, yeah. Parents. Oh, we ha like have someone in my room. Jeez. All right. Let's switch over everything. Works catcher. Ooh, why is that not working? I is. There we go, there we go. 
but we don't have chat here. All right, well, it's definitely way more important for you guys to see that. So uh, maybe Isaac will come down and help me fix it because I am tech illiterate. Uh, but other than that, let's go ahead and get into the game. We should be starting pretty soon here. So I'm uh, going to be primarily talking to my opponent, but uh, talk on. Yeah, the scepter really helps for sure. Bro, where is my actual disc? Hey, how's it going, man? Pretty good. All right. Camera set up. I didn't even check my camera, so hopefully it's fine. Yeah, that looks pretty okay. All right, I am streaming just as a heads up, um, but uh, should just be able to play like normal. Um, I have no dice with me. Uh, one second, let me grab those real quick. Okay. Um, all set for two dice high roll. Is that fine? Uh, that's fine. Got a ten. Uh, twelve. That went off screen. I can read. Nah, it did, but that's fine. I saw you move it back on. Okay. Look. Cool. All right. Uh, half cut. Fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, do you want me to half cut? Yeah, half cut's fine with me. I just double sleeved my deck the other day, so I'm still getting used to the extra thickness in it. Oh yeah, it can be it can be quite a change, honestly. Uh, do you want I shuffled before my camera's on? Do you want me to reshuffle it and then half cut or? Nah, you're you're good, man. You're good. Cut, and I'll go ahead and start. Good luck, man. Same to you. All right, we got the Spirit of Fire. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, seven. <laughs> All right. Um. Go ahead and just do a flame ring swordsman and I'll pass. Go ahead. All right. Spirit of Strain Fire. Yep. On inner glimpse six. Put one on the bottom. Good hand. Draw that and then one for turn. And then I'll go ahead and pay three for Lurking Assailant and pass to you. Sounds good. Definitely thought the Dion of Ashes was coming down. Um, yeah, no, I saw we were the featured match. I was like, man, we just played earlier. She's going to know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. A little unfortunate. Um, let's go with Shuffle and Banish one. Um, do you want to pick or do you want to dice roll for the match? Um... I guess let's dice roll. Okay, sounds good. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Roll the banish going into level one. Three. Middle. Banish a banner knight. Uh, go level one Lorraine, and I'll bring out the. Um, let's go ahead and. Do home by fire. I'll give the sword an extra durability and two extra damage for the turn. Then I'll recollect and draw, and I'll attempt to swing three into the lower king. Um, it has stealth. Oh, sword of seeking. Yeah, I'll retaliate sure. for two. Sounds good. I'll take two. And then uh, it'll die. Yep. Then uh, he goes under two durability, and I will swing two with flame resourcement and champion. I'll take two. And I'll pass. Go ahead. 
go ahead and GCR. Yep. Banish it to draw. Recollect. And draw for turn. Two for Fractal Insight. I'll bring it in rested. Sure. Put that one on top, this one on bottom. And then I'll pass. Uh, in your end phase, I'll put three down for Creative Shock. I'll draw two. And discard... a shield me and I'll restand mm. we'll go banish shield makes for drawn blade drawn blade's gonna draw a card and I'll recollect and draw. I'll swing two at champion with flame room. I'll take two. I'll go creative. Draw two. Discard shieldmate. And I'll Savage Slash with the Drawn Blade and deal three to you. I'll take three. So I'm up to seven. And we'll pass. Go ahead. All right. That wakes up. I'll banish one to level up. Um, evens odds. Yeah. It's odd, so I banish a Raccoon to go to Sylvie level one. Recollect. Draw for turn. Two for a fractal insight. Yep. Bring it in rested. And glimpse two. Leave those both on top. Then I'll pay three for a capricious links. Sure. Um, buff counter from Sylvie's effect. And I'll swing at face for four. I'll take four, go to six tier seven. And I'll pass to you. Restand, I'll banish Savage and Stalwart to go to level two. Then we will recollect and draw. So zero cards in hand and links to four, four, right? Yes, it's a 4-4. Four, four. I'll play Banner Knight, and then I'll swing four into the Lynx with the Sword of Seeking, the plus two from Lorraine, and the plus one. All right, Lynx dies. Draw a card. I'll swing three with Flame Rune Swordsman. I'll take three. And then one. So I'm up to ten. Yep, one with Banner and then, and then I'll pass. Right. Bring out the Beast Bond Ears. Recollect. Draw for turn. Three for Ordinary Bear. Yeah. Um, Banner Knights, is it a 1-3 or is it a 2 health? Yep, 1-3. One, 1-3. Three. One, three. I'll swing 2 into Flame Rune. Uh, 2 into Flame Rune with the Bear. That's fine. Flame Rune dies. And I'll pass. We stand. 
I'll go ring. Top ring draw. And recollect and draw. Um I'll creative shock draw two discard honorable vanguard then we will savage slash with the sword of seeking into the bear for four all right bear dies go one into you with the banner knight I'll take one. And I'll pass. I'll use the bear to materialize a tithe proclamation. Sure. On in our draw card. Yep. Recollect. Draw for turn. I'll tap two for scavenging raccoon. Nice. Yep. So yeah, the I guess both savage slashes. Uh, there's a. Savage... Or you already use one. Yeah, so yeah. use one. Yeah, just those. Those two is fine. Okay. Yep. And then I'll pay one for scry of the skies. So I glimpse two since I control animal. Put this one on bottom, that one back on top. And then I draw it into memory. And then I'll pay three for dungeon guide to nice. level up. Yep. Um, I guess one through five and I'll reroll on six. It's a four. So that's a young beast bonder. And then one through four, we're on five and six. It's a four. Banishing a bestial. Going to Sylvie level two. On enter, I draw because of her on enter. Yep. Swing one at face using raccoon. Go to seven. And one using dungeon guide. Go to eight. And I pass. Um, probably just the best. Definitely not the fun play, but um, we'll restand and then I'm going to banish the flame rune and two from memory to go into level three. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. I'll roll two dice and just reroll if either of them are six. Or I'll re-roll the one that is. So four and one. So one and one, two, three, four. All right. Get rid of Ghost of Pendragon and Savage Slash. Going into Spirit Ruler. Spirit Ruler will bring back Drawn Blade. And we'll draw off that. First card draw of the turn. Then I will recollect, draw my second card of the turn. And we'll swing Lorraine for two into your champion. I'll take two. Breaking the drawn blade. And he will swing one with Banner Knight. I'll take one. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six down for Ansel, and I'll bring out uh, Erendite, Fire Tongue, Seer Sword, Warrior's Longsword, Excalibur, and Ron Blade, Sword of Seeking, 
Uh, no trigger on the Erendite. I won't banish anything. The Drawn Blade will trigger. I'll draw my third card of the turn. And then I'll play Spear Blade Dispersion to blow up all the swords. Um, dealing 3, 5, 8, 9, 11, 13, 14 damage. Is that... Is Dispersion not a target sword? Sorry, I'm gonna pull up the... Yeah, yeah, no, all good. It's, so it's, uh... Like, I haven't, I haven't actually seen anyone play that. Yeah, yeah I, that's, yeah, that's a fair point. Um, it's remove all durability counters from any amount of sword weapons you control. So if I oh, choose okay. to remove durability from a sword, I do have to do all of them. Um, but I don't have to sacrifice all, all swords if I don't want to. Um, and then I'll choose any amount of units, which I'm just going to choose your champion, and I'll do all the damage to that. All right, so you said it was 13? Yeah, which would put you at lethal range. Um, I'll go ahead, lineage release to heal 6. Yep. And then I'll take 13, which should put me up to 22, I think. Yep. So that should still be game. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, a little bit of the fun combo there. I was hoping that uh, I wouldn't hit Dispersion from leveling up. I think just swinging with the Onsoul Swords still might have killed you, but Dispersion's definitely the cooler play. No, I definitely wasn't. I saw the, the insults. Like, okay, I'm kind of surprised anyone would still be playing that, and then you Dispersion. Yeah. It's like, I have actually <laughs> haven't seen that card played. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, I'm that really, like that a... one threw me off for sure. I'm running a very different Onsoul package than like people normally win. Like I have Excalibur Cursed Sword and I mean Seer Sword was sometimes played, but I have like the high durability swords in here instead of like just the attack ones. Alright. What do I side against DOA Sylvie? When I was sitting in a call with some friends and I saw it was a feature match, I was like, man, he already saw my deck, so that's just really unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Yep, take those two out for those. I'm not really sure I side anything, actually. So we're just going to... Yeah, we're just going to not side. So whenever you're done siding, you can let me know if you want to go yep. first or second. Um, I'll go second. Okay, sounds good. I'm just going to shuffle real quick since I did side. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll, uh, I'll probably do a quick pile shuffle. Well, that's definitely interesting. I mainly um, do the Yeti stuff to try and play against like other Merlins and other meta decks. Yeah. Because my locals doesn't really have too many of that because we don't have a whole lot of people that show up normally. Sure. Yeah, it makes sense. People like to play fun stuff at locals too. I go very back and forth with the ID events. Some weeks I try like extremely hard with like a Merlin deck or something. And then other weeks I try to play something a little bit more fun, which this is like kind of a mix between like it's still Fire Lorraine at the end of the day, but it's definitely mm -hmm. like a fun take on it. No, I saw I saw the fire Lorraine stars. Like, man, I wish I had DOA right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. When um, you do you want me to cut? Five, I thought for sure you had it in your hand. Uh, yeah, just half cut's fine. No, I had two bestials in my hand for most of that game. Gotcha, gotcha. So I didn't. I really didn't want to lose them. Is what was going on there. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, half cut's um, good. I think still? I could. Yeah, half cut's good. Cool. All right. Did I just good, half cut? I'm not entirely yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, you did. I think you're good. And then you said going second, right? Yes, I'll go. I'll go second. Okay. All right. Good luck then. Spirit of fire. Um, we will. Go shield main pass. All right. Spirit of Serene Fire on NRI Glimpse six. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six.
I'll put two on bottom. One, two, and then draw one for turn. Yep. And then three for Dawn of Ashes, and I pass. Nice, there you go. Um, we will go for a ring. Pop that, draw, then I'll recollect and draw. Let's do one. Two and three down for hasty messenger. Then I'll attack at your champion, discarding the honorable vanguard. All right, I'll take one. And then we will just pass. Go ahead. I'll bring out GCR. Yeah. Go ahead and crack it to draw one. Um, for DOA, do you want me to roll every time? Do you want to pick? I know we said roll for game, but that's. Uh, yeah, I fear you can just roll, that's fine. All right, I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six. Um, dungeon guide. Ooh, okay. Recollect, draw for turn. And I'll pass. Sounds good. Resand Hasty, Banish Honorable. We'll go for Lorraine Wandering Warrior. And we'll bring out uh, Sword of Seeking. We will recollect and draw. Um, let's do hasty messenger in for one. Uh, discard I'll take one. Tempered steel and drawing a card. Let's do one, two down for another shield mate. And I will pass the turn. Go ahead. In your in step, I'll fast cure. So yeah. what's your current influence? Eight. Six in hand, two in memory. All right, I have seven, so I'll heal two. Sounds good. Back to zero. I'll use Fast Cure to level up to Sylvie level one. Now, yeah, to level one. Yep, she's not on the field. I'm not <laughs> fully crazy. Yeah, no. Um, recollect for DOA, evens odds. Yep. Odds, it's Dungeon Guide. Sounds good. Collect. Draw for turn. Okay, I'll pay three for Bedivere. She comes out with the buff counter. Yeah. And then two for Grey Wolf. Okay. And I'll pass to you. Um, one card in hand, five in memory. So beast and... Um... Okay, let's beast stand. We will... So let's go ahead and banish the Tempered Steel, go for Drawn Blade, uh, on Enter, draw a card. He will recollect and draw for turn. Then I'll do one... One, two, 
three down dungeon guide. Um, I'll roll the keep. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. So keep this, banish the other two. Blazing throw and dispersion. Uh, go into level two. And we'll go one, two, three, four, flame sweep. Um, so with the drawn blade for five total. All right, I'll retaliate for two with Sylvie and two with the Grey Wolf. Yep, I'll go to four, you'll go to five. I'll five. clear four, drawn blade breaks, yep. and I draw two. That was a good time flame sweep. Yeah. Um, we'll go one with hasty messenger. I'll discard. I'll take one. A hasty messenger. Draw one. And one with dungeon guide. And I'll pass after that. Go ahead. I'll go ahead and bring out Life Essence Amulet. For DOA um, upkeep, so one through five, we roll on six. Yep. It's a five. Um, steady verse. Okay. Recollect. Draw for turn. Not two, only one. Three for Bedivere. Sure. And then two for Steady Verse to draw a card in a memory. Sure. And I'll pass to you. Sounds good. I will materialize Excalibur Curse Sword. Unfield with three. And I'll do a own by fire on the sword of seeking. Gain two attack for the turn, go to three durability counters, and then recollect and draw. Bedivere doesn't have taunt, right? She has to have an animal. Or Correct. Something. She's a. Her only thing is she's a 1 4. Because she does need the other animal or beast to get that effect. Play a Banner Knight down. I'll swing Hasty for 2 into Champion. Discard I'll Savage. Take two. Flash. Draw a card. Um, Banner Knight for one. Take one. Dungeon Guide for two. Take two. Um, I'll go Lorraine with the Sword of Seeking for three. I'll take three, so I'm up to 15. Then attempt to Blazing Throw the Excalibur for game. I'll go ahead and Lineage release healing six. Yep, and then... And then I'll four. take four from Blazing Throw. Yep, go to 13. Um, I will swing one with shieldmate. I'll take one. Swing one with shieldmate. Take one. And I'll blazing throw the sword of seeking. Uh, that is game. Good game, man. Very, very uh, interesting match there. Uh, you, back up, totally have Dawn of Ashes on the board. <laughs> I uh, oh yeah, wow you didn't have it out on game one and I kind of forgot about it uh, I me too I'm gonna be completely honest yeah 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 um wow yeah how that's... far do you want to back up um we should go back pretty far that, I think I feel first... like that would end up being your game anyways because I didn't have a whole lot else to do I was kind of just trying to stall it a fish for something sure sure 
Yeah, like I had an onslaught and dispersion in hand, but like you never know what could happen. We can try to backtrack. Um, do you just want to start that turnover? Because all I need to do to go back is just on lineage release. Yeah. Because I had six in memory from steady verse plus this plus playing her, so I had no cards in hand. So I can backtrack pretty easy to the start of that turn. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can try. Um, I'm going to try to backtrack my... Oh. That's even the whole thing in my deck, and I completely forgot. Yeah, no, you're all good. Oh, boy. It's, it's, it just happens on webcam, honestly. Like, it, it's so hard to keep the whole board, like, visual for you and your opponent, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so I, like, honed by fire, too. I don't remember if I had enough cards in hand to do that. Um... I think I want to say I had four, so I'll do the home by fire. That was pre recollection. These are active. The banner knight was not on field. So I should have this in hand, and I discarded savage slash for the hasty. The hasty's on. Two, four, Took seven. Seven from your allies. Well, there's no banner knight. Um, yeah, yeah. The banner knight was supposed to be played though. So that was that was like because he was there the turn before as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He so he is played. Did I really have five allies out? You had a lot. Like I was trying to fish for a cleave to to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, because I dungeon guided and flame swept. The banner it was out. Yeah, I think all these were out. That's crazy. Okay. Um, so you had taken 3, 8, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you had taken 18 and you had healed 6. So. Oh. I don't exactly remember where I started. It was, I think I was already at about four. 6 damage, I think. Yeah, uh, I think it should be seven. Should be okay. Yeah, it should be seven. I'm I'm pretty darn sure about that. Everything else, I'm like only semi sure on. So <laughs> now okay. I understand why everyone uses paper to record. Yeah, yeah, for values. sure. Yeah. Um, okay, I think this should all be correct. It's it's as correct as we can get it. I think. Um, so nothing down from hand. I'll start with swinging. Also, this is four, not three. I said three earlier, but this is definitely four with the Sword of Seeking, Honed by Fire, and Banner Knight. Um, I'll do four into the Bad to Beer, honestly. All right. Well, I'll retaliate for one. Yep. And then she'll die, and I'll pop Life Essence to draw a card. Yep. Okay. Not that it'll do me much good at level one, but... Yeah, no. It's all good. Uh... Yeah, I should just blazing throw at her, but that's all right. Um, we will go. Blazing throw the Excalibur to do four damage to you. Pain two. All right, I'll take four. Yep. Sorry, that text was from my dad. I'm going to respond to that really quick. Take your time, man. All right, sorry about that. So I'm at 11. Yep, no, you're all good. Um, I'll swing two at you. I've already done the discard draw from Hasty, so I won't all do right. that. Um, and then one and two more. So five, putting you to 16, I believe. Yep. Uh, we will swing one shield mate for one. I'll take one. Uh, and then we will just pass, go ahead. All right. Oh, well, now I really don't know what to do. <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. Don't have any floating.
go ahead and bring out Beast Bond Ears. Upkeep for DOA, one through six. Two, um, Beastial Frenzy. Yeah, I did not, okay. Draw for turn. One, two, three for a dungeon guide. Sounds good. Um, I'll roll to keep. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Keeping one, two. Banishing Young Beast Bonder and a dungeon guide. Going up to Sylvie level two. Um, don't draw for on enter because I don't control an animal or a beast. And then I'll pass. All right. I'll go ahead and go into level three, banish the floating memory and the two from memory. It's Ansel and Blazing Crow. Um, bring out Spirit Ruler, Spirit Ruler effects. I'll bring back Ron Blade with four enlightenment counters or four durability counters. Draw a card. Uh, and then for or at the beginning of recollection i will put three down for home by fire on the ron blade five in line or five durability counters now and then recollect and draw uh we will do Banner Knight for one into you. I'll take one. I'll go Dungeon Guide for two. Take two, I'm at 20. I'll go Hasty for two. I'll discard Flame Rune Swordsman and draw a card. In response, I'll pay two for Fast Cure. Um, I have four influence, I have so five. I heal yep. four. Yep. And then I take two. Yep, put two to 18. Uh, I'll go... One with shield mate. Take one. And I'll go one with shield mate. Take one. I'll swing three with Lorraine. And with in response, I'll need release. Yep. So heal six, take three. So you'll heal three down to seven. I'll be at 17. And then I will put one down, blazing throw the sword of seeking for four damage you one away and then i will Oop, wrong one how much um, did you put down for blazing throw one thank you jeez sorry that's the same reason we backed up yeah. last time <laughs> no 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 thank you man totally totally appreciate that uh it's a four yeah dude i literally so believe at... i forgot about that twice in a row uh yep and then we do one for dispersion since it normally does cost zero yep. that's that game four. Thank you for picking up on that. It didn't matter, luckily, that time. But it, um, I I had half a mind. To, I didn't have much anyways. Like, you took out my allies because, you know, I had the two outs going to Dungeon Guide. Right, right. Killed the Bedivere because if that had lived, I was going to Beastle Visage and then Frenzy. And I couldn't do that. So I was just... Yeah. No, it definitely, definitely was, like, a scary place. If I let that um, animal and beast live on your end, uh, game absolutely shifts hugely towards your favor. So... Um, Fails all this time though. Sylvie's worst enemy is a is a sweep card. Yep, especially at the lower levels. That's sure. actually why, because I think I told you before I started one. It was mainly for um, Anthem and Effigy of Gaia. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel that. That's always where I end up building Sylvie. Is just because Effigy seems like just a crazy card, honestly. Um, but uh, yeah, I really like the DOA build. Um. Keep plugging away at it, man. It's really cool. It <laughs> it really throws. It's people come off. a long way. Like I said, it started when I actually had a version where I ran like two prismatic sanctuaries with the four DOA to Visage. Yeah. And that just because I wanted to make a prismatic deck when I first saw the cards. That's one of my favorite cards in the set, and it just it's yeah. so hard to play around as a central point because you can't rely on it. 
No, yeah. Prismatic, uh, Prismatic and Dawn of Ashes, like, definitely feels like Dawn of Ashes is the playable one out of those two. Prismatic's, like, really cool, but like you said... You it just... should be something more like a Varuk where it's kind of just there to reinforce your game plan. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I've seen it played that way before from certain decks people were trying, so it's more more of like a secondary option it shouldn't really be the main focus sure yeah i get that um but not thanks for letting me back up and at least try to have an attempt because like i said i don't think it would have mattered it didn't matter either way <laughs> but no yeah of course but uh i, I always want to make sure that the game's uh fair right so um and it was it was good to to finish out those two games definitely looking forward to playing playing you in the future and uh good luck in the rest of the event dude oh yeah same to you peace okay um Boom. Sag not mod yet, YouTube broken. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Bro, it actually, yeah, it, it never likes you. <laughs> YouTube just does not let me click on uh, on your stuff. Um, Crazy cool game though. Uh, we saw a full dispersion uh, combo that last game and then didn't even need Ansel in this game. Just uh, the blazing throws and the um, dispersion alone did it. Um, basically, I built the theory behind this deck was everyone says that Ansel is dead with um, Resolute Stand being out because, like, it is fair. Ansel mainly does a bunch of like one to three damage output attacks. So if they Resolute Stand. Essentially, every single swing that you do is almost meaningless. If you go Crux Knight, you can still get, like, some damage off because Crux Knight's effect will give you more damage per sword broken. So you can essentially still just swing all your swords, even though you do no damage, into Resolute Stand, break them all, and then swing with your Crux Knight and still do, like, some damage. But, like, it it is just, like, it kind of hurts. Like, it, it, it stops you too much, kind of, um, for, like, counting a full turn towards it. Uh, and so, yeah, people thought, like, you know, Ansel's dead. Um, but I wanted to try this out because it can be a really good way to get a cross-resolute stand. So you bring out everything, and you swing with Fire Tongue first, specifically. Because you can banish a fire card to gain a durability. So you don't lose any durability, even if the attack is uh, mitigated. Like, sorry, you lose the durability, but you gain the durability by attacking. So you didn't... You didn't end up with lower durability than if you hadn't attacked, if that makes sense. And so then that's your tests to see if they resolute stand. That This is all the theory behind it, by the way. I've, I've literally played the one match that you just guys saw and then one match before then. Um, and then if they resolute stand at that point, then you just go, okay, I'll just dispersion you for like 14 or something. Like you saw me do it for, I think we got 13 against him. Um, it's something like 13 or 14, I think. I, I, I know the full full number, but I have to look back up. Um, but yeah, so you can just spell damage for like 13 with one card. That's a zero cost. So that was kind of the idea behind it. Um, you never really needed to use it in combination with Ansel beforehand, back in like actual DOA, you know, regionals meta where Fire and Wind, Ansel, Lorraine were like basically the, the decks. Uh, Ansel just like, there wasn't a good enough like reaction to it outside of Veiling, which Veiling also stops dispersion. Um, so there wasn't really a need to run it beforehand, but I think now we're into slower metas and, uh, you know, people rely on Resolute Sand to keep them alive. And now you can just go, okay, I'm just going to Dispersion and even maybe Blazing Throw you as well. Uh, the important thing with Blazing Throw and Dispersion is that Dispersion does force you to remove all durability counters if you do choose it from a weapon. You don't have to choose all weapons. That is important. But I can't, like, take... Excalibur, Cursed Sword, remove two counters with Dispersion, and then you like use the last one with Blazing Throw. So that was, because I thought I could at first. Um, that felt nuts, but, so you can't do quite the power spikes, but you, stay in, you still can do like, uh, you know, 17 spell damage in one turn, which is pretty crazy. I played against a very similar list to yours yesterday. It's not a fun time. Really, that's funny to hear that someone else had the same idea um love your matt isaac yeah yeah i forgot i'm i'm using isaac's matt tonight uh water would be kind of cool with ansel in disposition disposition you must mean dispersion 
Since you can bobble mage for a pseudo... Since you can bobble mage for a pseudo poison dagger. Sure, but bobble mage is class bonus. So you'd have to do it with like Merlin instead of Lorraine, which I think Lorraine... I think... I, I, I like the Crux Knight in here. Or not Crux Knight, Spirit Ruler in here. I like the Spirit Ruler in here a lot. Um, basically... I took inspiration for this list that I'm running tonight from Isaac, who took inspiration from the Water Lorraine list um, that was played in Yeti. So that's a real big hand. Yeah, and like that's that's the thing is like the deck is built to rely on floating mem memory rheumatic. Um, so you should be able to like do stuff like that. Like I don't think Onsold Dispersion and Blazing Throw is like a viable hand. I think that hand's kind of too big. But I think Dispersion and Unsoul is not bad because that's only seven cards sorry eight cards um but it is seven because onsol is gonna give you an extra card draw but that doesn't matter wait yeah hold on yeah yeah so you need seven because you need onsol and dispersion in hand and you need to put down six for onsol so that's seven card hand no eight card hand dude can we math holy crap yeah that's an eight card hand okay Dispersion and Onsol, because in GA you take your card's cost and it plus one to them because you have to play the card itself. So Onsol is a seven card commitment and Dispersion is a one card commitment. So you have to have an eight card hand to do this combo. Um, and then you'll get the Drawn Blade trigger, which usually will just like not really be viable unless you already have a Blazing Throne in hand too. At that point then, you just need um a nine card hand which like isn't actually that bad like i mean that's like what erupting used to do and stuff like that right like this is a nine card hand because you'll get the one that you need to pay for blazing throw after you onsel um the drawn blade in and the deck's just built around floating memory basically it's just built around a bunch of card draw and floating memory um getting your levels for free and drawing one per turn uh and not really like doing other things like you don't like waste cards essentially um and you also have your level two sweep turn watch you're super quiet mic is next to your ear i'm not using this mic uh, i have a table mic here and yeah if i if i lean back from it and talk like this then it starts to get quiet quiet so just gotta remember to stay kind of close um but i appreciate the feedback uh in water though it's a bit harder with the floaty memory situation Game sounds fine to me on volume. Oh, my volume is all the way up. <laughs> I was talking about Bubble Mage plus Onsoul, not Onsoul plus Dispersion. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Bub yeah, Bubble Mage and Onsoul is a hard combo. Um, and still, still gets kind of like shut out by Resolute Stand, which is kind of the point of this build. Because like Bubble Mage and Dispersion doesn't really do extra damage because... I think it would only increase the damage once. It's not like Advent where it's like a bunch of damage like back to back. I think it's, the mic is on an arm, you can move it, you know. Yeah, I know, but I can't, I can't bring it closer to me. I can just move it left and right, I think. I mean, I can do this. This is like maybe a little bit better. Also, I want to check out, oh, I've got to go like report results too. Duh. Even. One, two, oh. Okay. Uh... Sorry, guys. Give me a second. Keeping up with uh, all the tags that I just got. It probably does. I, dude, I like. <laughs> okay, I just. It, it was a little bit too much tension than what yeah, I wanted yeah, to give yeah. it. It's, okay. It's because of the heavy mic. All right, cool. Hi, guys. <laughs> There's Isaac to help me with all my technical difficulties. All right. Um, I feel like that's that's really close and loud now. All right. How, how's that, guys? How's that mic sounding? Um. Okay, 
let's stick along in pairings. I'm gonna, it's it's gonna be crazy if this deck gets me my first 4-0 in over a month uh, instead of win Merlin, because that, that's not how I would have expected it. So we'll see how this deck does. I hope it keeps doing well tonight. Uh, I don't think I sideboarded at all in that last match, so I don't have to worry about that. Um... Yeah. That was a fun match, though. Solar Games reveal in 10 minutes. IDK win round starts, though. Uh, round starts in about 10 minutes. <laughs> but feel free to talk about the spoilers in chat, y'all. Have at it. Um, I'll touch on it after my round ends. Better. Cool. Thought that the volume's better. Yeah, that was really cool, though. I mean, that was, like, that did exactly what I wanted. Uh, it wasn't exactly the situation that I had hoped for, where it's, like, my my dream situation with this deck is I do on soul, my opponent resolute stands, and I wouldn't be able to kill them, but I dispersion them and get around the resolute stand for lethal. That's, like, that's what I want to do tonight. Um, but to start out match one with doing the dispersion both games uh, for lethal was pretty cool. Um... Yeah, so, I don't know. Deck's feeling pretty interesting. For just building it today, I'm very glad at how it's doing, because I was a little worried it'd, like, fall apart, even though I uh, did one match with it, and, like, it did fine in that match. Wait, missed the other games. What was your score? It was 2-0. I had like 15 extra damage in game one or something. Cause like I onsold and then just dispersioned instead of even attacking just cause it was perfect lethal even with him healing six um, on the dispersion. Uh, so I just did it that way just to like have fun with it. Um, but if I did all the onsold swings too, it would have been a lot more damage. Yeah, that's also like why we're going on the, the spirit ruler and not the crux knight. Cause it's less about the attacks. Like the attacks do a lot of damage in this deck, but like it's designed to like almost be fire xander-esque where it's like i can do attack damage or i can do spell damage that was basically the point of the deck Harrison's a super nice player too. Played him earlier today uh, for one of the Yeti League matches. Uh, Yeti just started yesterday, I think, their own league. So if you join their Discord and you just play like casual games, you can essentially like earn points for them and then those points will get you chances at prizes at the end of the month. Um, so definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, if you can't make the Yeti weekly events that we're doing right now, I know like I have some friends that like work uh, during these times. And they're unable to make the weekly events but uh you know if that's you if you have a different time of the week that you can play um join that yeti discord and uh grind some games out maybe win some matches or uh, well maybe win some matches but maybe win some prizes for uh just some casual games um there's no like cost to the league it's just a ten dollar shipping cost if you don't play in one of the weeklies uh so yeah it's it's not bad at all and that's only if you win something too, of course. They don't like make you pay shipping if you don't win anything. So we got seven more minutes until the next round starts. Uh, I guess disregarding like uh, time for overtime as well. Probably 12 minutes until the next round starts. Unless we have no ties, but there's usually ties. I was, uh, I was, I went into time half the rounds last time, I think, because I was on uh, Win Merlin. Hey, want to play a Yeti League match right now? <laughs> starter decks, starter deck uh, league match. Got 12 minutes. I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> That's how we pass the time in between rounds. I just play starter deck league matches. Oh, what I was going to do also was. Also, Isaac, I don't know where the stream. Uh... Where, oh wait, hold on, hold on. I don't know where the um, chat went.
when I do this? And why is it not doing this now? Dude, why do I struggle with these things so much? Hold on. This is supposed to capture this. Bro, this was literally just working. This was just working. Oh man, Rheumatic and Terry about to about to do the Yeti grind. <laughs> Have I played a game yet? Uh, if you're talking to me, yeah, we played round one already. We went 2-0 against Dawn of Ashes, uh, Serene's Fire Spirit, Sylvie. So as long as I never do, I'm undefeated. With Triscuit? Oh, I, I get you. I, I, I see what's happening now. Okay, but what happened though? Um... Do I have to pop this out? Did it like? Do I have to do that each time? Did I maybe close it? That's probably what happened. All right, I think I figured it out. There we go. Okay, dude, technology is scary. All right, we. I want to try to figure out the glare. The glare is pretty bad. I figured it out. What? Yeah, I don't. Okay, thank you. Hey, now we got chat. Yay, we have a fully functioning stream now. All right, if I do this, uh oh. A little bit, little bit less glare, but still pretty bad. Thinking you go winning against me. I'm also undefeated against Rem. That's not untrue, but Rem has also never lost to me. <laughs> Rem has the sauce. I believe it, man. Rem's got some spicy ducks. Rem, like came up with water allies before us in a way because we didn't give water enough attention before ascent but he sent me the deck list and i looked at it and it definitely looked interesting and then post ban list we built a water's allies list but i didn't like pull up rem's list but i had like seen it once so like kind of took inspiration from rem um well, I guess Isaac was actually the one from us that popularized Water Alleys first, and I don't think he built off Rem's list. Okay, it's definitely that camera. That's also the one on my beautiful face. It's like a little, little darker. There. Oh, that's like just as bad as glare. All right, you guys will just have bad glare, but I was trying to make it less glare also this is not gonna focus i think it's probably gonna show better on this hold on i already showed it in the beginning of the stream but we'll uh we'll show it off again it's gonna be a little hard because the camera's not gonna focus and the lighting's gonna be weird but uh my wife quinn schwarzenschuber whoop, did a card altar she put uh fire spirit and red slime chilling in a bath of lava like in a little volcano um super cute i think it's really well done very very excited um that's her first one that she just did she uh thinking about getting into this has a couple other designs in the in the works as well um yeah i uh, posted a very clear image in our discord as well uh if you want to take a better look at that um, we will probably have some for sale eventually. Um, she's just got to like make some more. Because <laughs> um, this one is for me to use. 
uh she might make another one uh like for sale or something we'll probably have some uh for sale either at florida regionals uh our team's going down there but we will definitely have some at michigan regionals uh alongside with a ton of like actual singles for the game isaac and i built it oh i didn't know that After the ban list, Isaac's list was so close to mine. I had made so many changes, it was insane that we had such similar lists with no communication. That's cool. Great minds think alike. Although would even know would even know Rem had a list. Probably didn't even know Rem had a list. Yeah, I just went off Swarm honestly and added cards I thought were good. <laughs> I'm in res him though. Isaac true mastermind. Caven has the wife buff in card games. It's not fair. <laughs> the key to our power. She did an amazing job. Thank you, Rem. And telling her all the nice things that uh, people have said about it. It's been really positive so far. Let's see if pairings are up. Oh, round time. That's right. We don't have pairings up yet. We got that overtime just hit, probably. lost my page there we go oh yo we have not run any ads hold on ad break all right is that a first edition though yeah see cave and it matters yeah <laughs> it is first ad but she covers them up because like that's where the it's 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 such it's such a hard thing to show on camera but the first that so on a card, you have to keep like this sat here, which is why there's like a little square open in like the, the lava that's pulling over the side, which I think like makes it look really cool. Um, but on this side, there's like a rock covering up. So you can't actually tell if it's a first edition or not, but yes, it is a first edition. I have like literally just boxes full of uh, spirits, both altar and first edition. So it's like, the easiest thing for me to let her like paint on because like I gave her like 10 to practice on while she like figured out what paints she wanted to use and stuff because they're the first ed spirits are almost worthless to me um but this is priceless different than worthless <laughs> very very cool she did uh some pokemon alters for me like years ago uh back when I was buying and selling and collecting and playing pokemon but they weren't I didn't like like the the legality for those were a lot different um ga's legality is like super loose it's basically like keep the name the element the cost and the and the like card icon like champion this thing right here um and the stat and that's it you can paint over the art art box the text box um a bunch of different stuff on the card that you can paint over the illustrator the set name all that stuff it's pretty crazy anyone who's open sealed product has a million spirits yeah exactly yeah first dead spirits are not exactly rare if you want to buy them in bulk i'll, I'll cut you a deal <laughs> i'm actually curious i'm going to look them up on tcg player because i wonder how much they go for on there I I know I sold a few for like a dollar or something like that like a long time ago, but I don't think any have recently sold for me. But I still sell like first set champions for like fifty cents a dollar here and there, which is like really crazy to me because it's just a common. Uh, first edition Dawn of Ashes Spirit of Fire is fifty cents. Wow, uh, and they're actually like selling like once a week ish, once every other weeks. Well, if anyone wants to bulk buy these. I'm your man. 50% off TCG player. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if I want to do it. It's kind of cool to have that many first head spirits. Kind of, kind of like hoarding them. Was that round one? Yep. And we're just about to get pairings for round two. Should be like literally next minute. Yeah, it's kind of weird that you can cover the effect, but I guess it makes sense because pulling up the index is legal during matches. Right. That's the, yeah. Like it's weird, but also makes sense.
curious to see what we'll play against next round. See if the deck holds up another round. Or if it was just a one round dream. Nine oh five, so overtime it should be up. Should be getting next round round pairings in any second now. Got money from someone and I have no idea who is it from. Figure that out later. Now that we have a lot more viewers since the beginning of the stream, I'm just going to say it again. We do have uh, Michigan Regionals coming up December 16th. Tickets are on sale on our website, truechampiongaming.com, uh, underneath the shop section. Uh, yeah, all the info is on the tickets as far as prizing, entry fee, start time, all that kind of stuff. We're doing all the standard, uh, like, things for regionals all the standard prizing and entry costs and then we also added in some extra prizing as well and we're going to be doing tons of giveaways there's going to be a ton of cards for sale at the event um boxes as well and all that kind of stuff uh pretty much anything that you want to buy in ga it'll be there uh excluding you know like some foils and uh i don't have a lot of promos promos are actually like kind of hard to come by in this game depending on which promos they are um but every single non-foil card that exists will be there for sale and like thousands of foils that might be a little bold like eight a thousand foils multiple hundreds of foils for sure <laughs> what deck are you playing tonight i am playing throw swords at your opponent's face so we got onsole in here but we also are spicing it up with a full 4x of Blazing Throw, which is not usually what Onsol lists play. And um, 3x of Dispersion in here. Because basically, people think Onsol's dead because of attack damage and Resolute Stand. Like, Resolute Stand theoretically does kind of just basically shut off Onsol. Um, but the thought process is if they resolute stand, then you're just going to throw all your swords at their face with dispersion and do all spell damage instead. So trying that theory out tonight. And so far it's been doing good. I literally built this deck like today, um, just on a random idea and played one test match before Yeti just to make sure that like it actually had some engine <laughs> and it did pretty good in the test match. So I was like, okay, I think this should... You know, I don't know how the matchups are, of course, but like it actually it at least seemed like it had um, playability and it wasn't just like combos that I thought wouldn't work or like a huge flaw with the deck's design or something. Because I've definitely built decks that I was like, yeah, this looks like a cool deck. And then like, I start playing it. I'm just like, dude, this doesn't work at all. Like I need to change these 12 cards right away to even become playable. Like it's just like I'm sitting here just draw passing. It happens. We're playing different swords to combo with Dispersion, like Seer Sword. Yes, yeah, yeah. So we're playing absolutely different swords than your normal Onsol combo. So we have the Seer Sword. Um, and then obviously Onsol post FTC, Erendite is really cool because we have a very large floating memory package in here. So we can actually get a pretty big Erendite. Um, we have the Warrior's Long Sword because that's good for both durability and attack damage. We have the Fire Tongue because this is our first this is the sword that will probably attack with the most because you can swing with this banish a fire card gain the durability and then if they resolute sand you like didn't lose any potential damage with um dispersion and then probably the spice we also have drawn blade and seeking sword i mean sort of seeking uh pretty standard but the spiciest one that we're playing is excalibur curse sword zero cost three durability sword um and uh yeah so we, we have just the champions and ring and that's our only non-sword so very spicy on soul package yeah get that lead grinding going all right i think we have our next round hey we're against killidus all right let's go ahead and hop in there player 
get that popped up. Mainstream, cool. And let's play some games. All right, how you doing, uh, Kilitus? Doing good. Uh, I'm assuming that you're good with half cuts, two dice, high roll to start, all that good stuff. Yeah. Cool. Are you are you uh, streaming and playing at the same time today, or are you just playing and then recording later? So we are streaming, but I am just focusing on the game. I'm not like doing push to talk okay. and doing uh, all that <laughs> stuff because it, it just led to way too many misplays last week. So I want to I want to give good gameplay priority. Sounds good. Uh, rolled an eight, by the way. I rolled a six. Cool. Sounds good. Half cut. Yep, half cut's perfect. And uh, are we good to start? Uh, let's see. Time. Round starts 11 after the hour. Oh, so yeah, it's oh. it's 8-11. All right, good luck, man. You too. Go Spirit of Fire. Draw seven. Um, interesting. I'll go Stalwart Shieldmate and I'll pass. Our spirit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. I'll pay one to idle thoughts. Yeah. Top four. arrange it like this and I'll pass sounds good I will go materialize ring top ring raw card and then I'll put three down attempt a creative shock that's fine okay draw two I'll discard tempered steel then recollect and draw for turn. I'll put two down, play hasty messenger. Yes. Swing hasty at champion, discarding a tempered steel, uh, drawing one, dealing one. Pick one. Uh, then we will do I think I'll just pass. Go ahead. Cards in hand? Uh, five. Okay, thank you. Good idol. Go to level one. We'll grab... Sword of Seeking. Collect, draw, and I'll pass. Sounds good. We will restand, banish tempered steel, go into Lorraine level one. We'll go sort of seeking, and then I'll do. Hmm. I'll just recollect and draw. Um, I'll swing one with Hasty Messenger. Effect, I'll discard Shieldmate, draw a card. Yep. I'll 
put two down. Go hasty messenger. Swing one at champion. Effect. Discard. Honorable Vanguard. Deal one. Yes. I will pass. Go ahead. You have four in hand? Four in hand, yep. Okay, four, five, six. Um, end of your turn. Uh, two for fast here. Uh, no, no effect. But I will use it to level up. Even odds. Even. Yep. So this one. I'll go ahead now and eat a floating. Sure. Gain a level. I'll recollect. Draw for turn. Then I'll I'll pass. Three stand. Let's see here. I'll banish to go into Lorraine Blade Master. Okay. I will recollect and draw. I'll swing one with Hasty Messenger into Champion, discarding Tempered Steel, drawing one. Uh. Yes, I'll take one. Okay. I guess I should check for Strong of Frost first. Sorry. Um, attempt to swing with Hasty Messenger. That is fine. Uh, trigger, I'll discard Honorable Vanguard, draw a card, deal one. Five. Then we will go... One, two, three. Humation Ritual on the shield mate. Cards in hand? Three. Three, that is fine. Okay. We made it. Draw two. Put two down Savage Slash uh, using the sword and Lorraine's effect. So it's going to be coming in for five. Two, three, four, five. You have five floating? Uh, or, right, I mean, you, have, you have two floating, right? Right now I have three floating. It's an honorable, uh, a stalwart, and a tempered steel. And then okay. the Savage Slash will be going to grave as well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, five memory, two hand. Yeah, I, I would take five. Okay, putting you to ten, and then Savage goes to Graveyard for my fourth floating memory. Uh, sort of Seeking goes down one durability, and I will pass. Go ahead. All right, you're tapped. You have two cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five. For the level three. Huh, are we playing in soul? End of your turn. One. Two. One, two. Uh, I'll sign. I'll refract the missile. You for one. Take one. Then I will level up. Sure. I'll go. To, I'll go to level three. I'll roll to keep two, yep. four, six. I'll keep two. Yep. Uh, banish these two, 
and refracting missile. Oh, sorry. Let me pick up my hand. You're good, dude. Oh. Yep. Three cards. I will. How much floating? Um. I will materialize into Merlin. Materialization yeah. on the stack. I'll eat a. Uh, I will not eat a floating. Okay. Beginning recollection. I'll gain a level. Yep. Draw. Where's the hand now? I have four. Okay. I'll pay one to Spirit Blade Ascension. Sword of Seeking. Sure. Any responses? Uh, wait, sorry. Why'd you pay two? I paid one. This is okay. one from Leftover. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. My bad. Okay, I'll put this away. I'm going to grab Prismatic Edge. Sure. I'll I reveal you. Water yep. water and Wind. Uh, and you did peg it right. I am on Unsoul. All right. Um, so banish one at random. Yep. I will deal three to a hasty messenger. Hasty dies. One, two, three, four, five. Roll to banish. Five. You got Ghost of Pendragon. Okay. I will uh, draw for the water. And then I will... I will recollect. Yeah. Draw for turn. One, two, three, four, five. So now you have four in memory, five, in six, seven, two in hand. So it's enough for in soul. But. Oh, that, is, that might be lethal. Interesting. Um. Yeah, I'll have to play it safe. Um, need another turn. I will. I'll attack into your hasty messenger. Yep, hasty dies. Then I will. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five. I don't have a second sword, right? So um, I'll pass. Okay. Um, three stand cards in hand? Uh, six. I'm gonna banish one. Go under drawn blade. Drawn blade. Okay. Back. That's fine. Recollect. Let's draw. Swing one with Drawn Blade. So it's 11. I'll pass. Go ahead. Cards in hand? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. We go. Man, I really... Can you deal with... Soul? 
soul dispersion. Oh, it's in soul dispersion. Um, which is just enough cards. I'll grab Terra Frame. Yeah. I gain a level. Draw for turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Planet Majesty. Sure. I'll attack for four. Take four. And then I'll pass. Okay. Um. Restand. gonna banish the last of the floating memory to go into spirit ruler spirit ruler effect bring back drawn blade with four durability counters total draw a card from that then that we will beginning a wreck oh yeah beginning a wreck um No, I think I'll just go through recollection, draw for turn. I'll activate tariff. Sure, yep. Okay, um, I'm going to put one down and blazing throw the drawn blade. I'll deal four damage to the um, beast, the deer, whatever. Okay. Then I will put one, two, three, four, five, and six down for Ansel. Okay. Ansel effect. Uh, actually, I might not bring all those out. So. The drawn blade was from banishment, right? Drawn blade is from banishment. Yeah, that one. Okay. That one for sure is coming out. Um, just okay. thinking on the rest. that in there and then we'll go these so no erendite trigger i will trigger the draw blade and draw card okay uh and then we will dispersion them all so i believe the way this works is i have to deal damage simultaneously so we're gonna deal um and i'm on soul so yeah they're all they're all gonna go at the end phase so we'll deal one because oh. this only had one on it Correct. Two, Two three, three, four, five. Four, five, six. So this yep. is going to go into the deer, which would kill yep. it. And then I'm going to do four towards your champion, but... I'll take two. Um. Yeah, and actually this person is a spell. So actually, I don't think I can target your champion. Oh, you can't even target me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll just we'll just kill, kill off the deer. Okay. Which meant that I did not have to do that blazing throw, but that's all right. Um... Yep, so all these swords break, and then we will just pass. Go ahead. Okay, so you have seven in memory? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, and then one in hand. All right, thank you. I will materialize Sword of Seeking. I'll gain a level. It's even. I'll draw a card. I will recollect. 
Oh, uh, Rheumatic says that Dispersion doesn't target, by the way. Oh, it doesn't? Yeah. Okay, so I'll take four. Or two. It's just two. Yep, thanks. Or three. Let's go to seek game. Yep, I'll take three, eight, tier 13. Yes. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Plus four. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Alright, I match the again. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's here. I was swing for another four. Go to 12. And then I will pass. Okay. I will materialize Excalibur Curse Sword, uh, recollect, and draw. Um, let's see here. No floating still, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's go. You don't have any regalia out outside of your seeking, correct? Correct. Okay. Go oh, Ghost of Pendragon. Effect, put back the Excalibur into material, and draw two. Uh, response on enter. Sure. Yep. How many cards in hand? Uh, six. Six. I will I will pay two and factorize your sword. Sure. Yep. Okay. Cards in hand? None, right? No, I have no cards in hand. We'll go on soul. Fire from hand and then use an fractal. Okay. Uh, we'll bring out everything and then no erundite triggers. Uh, but I will trigger. Drawn blade, draw card, and then we'll go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, into the beast, um, breaking. Then we'll swing Ghost of Pendragon into Beast as well. We'll retaliate. Yep. And then I'll swing uh, Seer Sword, which I get a glimpse. So if I, I can swing, I've actually never played Seer Sword before. I can swing okay. Seer Sword uh, with Ansel, Glimpse, and then also swing Lorraine with Seer Sword, correct? Correct. Okay, cool. Yep. So we'll swing Seer Sword by itself into your champion for one. I'll Glimpse two. I'm going to bottom deck both. And then we'll swing Spirit Ruler for one using Seer Sword to glimpse another two. Um, I'll bottom deck one, top deck the other. Okay. And then I'll pass. Go ahead. One card in hand? One card in hand, yep. Alright. So I'll grab a GCR. Begin a level, crack, beginning recollection, recollect, draw for turn. Hmm. I'm going to pay four for a Tide Diviner. Sure. For um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. We'll grab a crux site. Yeah. Oh well, I don't. I don't oh, have to tell yeah, you that. Don't, don't have to tell <laughs> me. Yeah. I'll pay. I'll pay two to crux yeah, site. You'll sure. know. <laughs> Pick yeah. this up and draw. Yeah. I'll pay one to spirit ascension. Sure. Turn this. Grab prismatic edge. Yep. Going with the effect. Yep. And you have one card in hand? I have one card in hand, yes. Okay. Uh, wind, fire, water. Okay. Yep, you have another good. in soul? Yep. Uh, on soul, hasty, hone, double cremate, another hasty, and a resolute stand. Oh, I hope I hit. I hope I hit the on soul. Um, I really to, hope you don't. <laughs> three to you. Yep. I'll draw. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Since there's seven, you want to just give me a number? One through yeah. seven? Yeah. Five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Don't be crooks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. No, it's all good. <laughs> oh, oof. I'll attack for one. Yeah. And then I will pass. Yeah. Uh, recollect. Draw. Oh, yeah. I knew what that was. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, That's wild. One, two, hasty messenger. Um, I will swing into your tide diviner. Any response? No response. I will discard a hone by fire to draw a card. Okay. Um, one, two. Let's do. Three cremation ritual. Any response? No response. Uh, sack the hasty, draw two. And I'll go. How many floating memory and drop? I think three. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll just pass. Go ahead. Four in memory, four okay. in hand. Okay. Oh, what's in my memory? And your turn. Uh, nah. I'll go to materialize. Yeah, we'll materialize Aaron Dyke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's picking number one to seven. This is one. I will do one. Okay. As a resolute. Yep. On enter for enlightenment counters. I'll gain a level. Even. I'll draw. And then I will pay. That's fine. I'll recollect. Yep. Draw for turn. Yeah. I'll swing for uh, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I'll do uh, resolute. Cards in okay. hand left. Zero. I will frostbind it. Yep, you got it. Let's go to game okay. two. Oof, man, that was brutal. A little lucky there, yeah.
All right, half cut. And are you going first or second? Yep, I'll go first. Good luck, man. All right. You too. Um, all right, we will do two down, stalwart, three down, cremate, draw two, pass. Water spirit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. I will pay two for a uh, fractal of insight. To I'll keep it like this and I'll pass. Okay, remove stalwart. I'll go with Lorraine level one, bring out sort of seeking two durability counters, recollect and draw. How many cards in hand? Five. Um, go two down, uh, AC messenger. That's Swing fine. with hasty. Effect fine? Yep, effect is fine. Discard temper, draw a card, deal one to you. Before damage, I'll refract him myself, deal two to it. Sure, yeah, that's fine. Um, then I will go three down creative. Okay. Draw two, discard, stalwart shield mate, and I'll pass, go ahead. All right. I'll level for refracting missile. Why is sort of seeing at one? That should be at two. I haven't swung. Yeah, you did not swing with that. Um, sort of seeking. Uh, recollect. Yeah. Draw for turn. I'll pass. Okay, I'll banish both floating. I'll go into level two. Blade master. Recollect. Draw. All right. Um, Careful angle. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, shoot. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for it. All right. One, two, three, dungeon guide. Oh, um, cards in hand? Four. Four. It's the very fast dungeon guide. Yeah. That's, that is fine. Okay, roll to keep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three. Banish Dispersion and Banner Knight. Go into Spirit Ruler, no effect. Uh, swing one with Dungeon Guide. Take one. Swing one with uh, Spirit Ruler. Oh, it should no, be three. three. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I forgot I went to level two. Yes, five. Uh, I have you at six. Oh, no, 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 you're at five, because I, I added the one. Um, Put two down, attempt to Ghost of Pendragon. Cards in hand? One. Yeah, we're going to uh, frostbind that. Yep, go ahead. Um, and you have three in memory, one in hand. Correct, yep. Uh, I will... Yeah, I'll go to level two, banishing two credit majesties. Ooh, wow, okay. Draw, or recollect draw. One, two, three. Oh, um, I'll just pass. Okay. We stand. I'll go GCR, pop ring, draw, uh, recollect, and draw. Uh, we'll go two down ghost. Uh, we have not, we have two cards in hand. Uh, I have three in hand. Okay, that's fine. Okay, return sort of seeking, draw two, uh, swing one. Six. Swing three. Nine. 
Uh, we'll just pass. Go ahead. End of your turn. One, two. How fast here? I have four influence. Yep, you're good. You heal. Okay. Go to five. You have no float, right? Correct. Okay. I will go to level three. Gain a recollection, gain a level, draw for turn. And then I will. I'll pass. Okay. We stand. I'll go sort of seeking, two counters, uh, recollect, draw. Um, I'll go swing one with dungeon. Cards in hand? Uh, eight. Take one. Swing three with ghost. Go back to nine. Um, we will go one, two down, play Ghost of Pendragon. Cool. Um, ours in hand now is a six. It's five. Five now. One, two, I'll fracturize your sword. Swing two, or sorry, three. Twelve. Mm. Savage slash you for two. Yes. Fourteen. Go ahead. Oh. Um. I think I need a terror frame. We'll go to uh being a recollection, gain a level, to even draw. Yeah. I will draw for turn or recollect, draw for turn. And oh Yes. We stand. I'll banish Savage Slash. Go for Drawn Blade. Draw a card. Uh, recollect anything. Go activate Terror Frame. Yep. And draw for turn. Uh, let's do. One down. Blazing Throw the Drawn Blade for four. Uh, yes. 18. Two down, swing goes for three. Where's that in hand? Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will, yeah, I'll take three. 21. Uh, we'll go. Swing Ghost? Yep, 24. Go ahead. Um, yep. Here lies. GCR. Uh, gain a recollection, gain a level, we'll crack GCR, draw. Uh, I will some neg one. I will um, do nothing, then draw for turn. Sure. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm so dead. Um, three, six. I think that's just six. You want to go to game three for time? Uh, show me then, soul. Yeah, I have three. Okay, you got it. Okay. Yep, we'll go to game three. I'll play first. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, I'm not siding, so you can just shuffle up and start whenever you're ready. Sounds good. We have 20 minutes for game three, right? It starts at the 11th. We have 40 minutes. Yeah. I think right, so. 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I suggested the scoop because I think we can actually finish a game three if we play quickly. Yeah. I will cut in half. Yep. Good luck. Me too. Water spirits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll pay one to idle. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Keep it like this and I'll pass. Clear to fire, draw eight. All right, let's go. One, two down for Hasty. Yes. Have to swing with Hasty. Yes. Take one. Card Savage Slash. Yeah, you take one. Um. I'll put three down. Attempt Creative. That is fine. Draw two. This card, Tempered Steel. Go ahead. All right. Going to level one. We'll grab Sword of Seeking. Um, Prereq. I'll refract the missile hasty for one. Yeah. I'll recollect. Draw for turn. I'll finish it off. Yep. And then I will pay two to uh, refract to play Fractal of Insight. Yep. Yeah. I will. Like the top two, and I will put one on top, one on bottom, and then I'll pass. Sounds good. I'll banish Tempered Steel to go into Lorraine level one, bringing out Sword of Seeking with two counters on it, recollect, and draw. Uh, oof. Uh, time to play Creative Shock, three in hand. Okay. Draw two, discard, uh, flame rune. I'll pass, go ahead. Even odds. Yep. I got a level two. Even. Lose Majestic Spirit. I'll eat your floating. 
in a level. Uh, we collect, draw, and I will pass. I'll banish Savage, go into Drawn Blade, draw a card. Okay. Um, for recollection, attempt to play Creative Shock. You got it. Draw two. Discard Stalwart. Okay. We collect. Draw. Savage slash you for three using the drawn blade. Yeah. Go to four, Go to, four. to my zero. Time to play flame rune. Uh, how many cards in memory? Uh, five in memory, two in hand. Two in hand. Uh, flame rune is fine. Swing two. Take two. Go ahead. End of your turn. How fast you're? Game four. Sure. And then I will wake up, materialize, materialize GCR. We'll pop it, begin recollection. We will. Yeah, we all recollect. Yeah. Draw for turn. I'll eat um, your savage slash, gain another level. And then I will pass. I'll go level two. Uh, banish stalwart, and then you want to give me number one through five? Uh, three. Get rid of a resolute stand. Uh, recollect. Draw. Um, swing three with Sword of Seeking. I would take three. Swing two with Flame Rune. I would take two. Play Dungeon Guide. Okay. Effect's good. Effect is good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll to keep. One. Get rid of double Flame Sweep. Okay. Spirit Ruler. Effect. Ring Black. Draw Blade. Effect. Draw Card. Swing one with Dungeon Guide. Eight. Where's the hand? Uh, six. Good. Cards in hand? Four. Four, five, six, central seven. Okay. Um, end of your turn. One. One, two. One, two, three. I'm gonna refract and miss all your flame rune swordsman. Sure. And then I will wake up. I will materialize to level three. Yeah. Even odds. Odds, even odds, I will banish Frostbind. Uh, on materialization stack, I'll eat your Flame Rune Swordsman. Yep. Go to level three. Or gain a level. You're good, yeah, I know what you mean. Go to Merlin. Um, beginning of recollection, I'll gain a level. It's even. 
I'll draw a card. I will... I will reflect. Draw for turn. I'll pay one and two. You ghost pen dragon. Sure. Draw two. One, two. I will attack for. Uh, we'll kill your dungeon guide. Dungeon guide dies. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Incarnate Majesty. Yep. Thank you for four. Take four. And then I'll pass. Materialize ring. Stop ring. Draw. Recollect. Draw. No cards in hand, correct? No cards in hand. Cards in memory? Uh, six. Breaks. Thing one with Drawn Blade into Majesty? Yes, uh, Majesty takes one. Does it have... Does it have counters? Uh... Can you bring yes, it back with... it does. Yeah, hold on. So, I gotta think about that again. Okay. Um... I, was like, I, yeah, thought, yeah, I thought yeah. you brought... I thought you brought it back. <laughs> totally did. Just put the wrong amount of counters on it. Um, yeah, that's fortunate. Okay, so gosh, there's so many lines, it's unfortunate. Two down, Ghost of Pendragon. Return the Drawn Blade. Draw two. Yes. Are they hand six now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, ankle, please. Yeah, thanks. Sorry. Too focus. Um. I'll go ghost into ghost, spirit ruler into ghost. Pass. Um. That's. So three oh, right. round of half is two, is only Jesus. one damage. Yeah. So Ghost um, will take one from Ghost. Yeah, Ghost or, takes one from Ghost. You, you can, yeah, take it back. I mean, so so rounding, um, it rounds the prevention up. So one and a half will be two prevention. Go ahead. Okay, and you have six cards in hand. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me check my memory. Go we'll grab Terra Frame. Yeah. Yeah. We'll gain, we'll gain a level. 
the odd draw for a reset like draw for turn. Um, will kill your ghost pen dragon. Yeah, he dies. We'll attack you for three. Take three. We'll play two for a fractal of, of insights. One and two. One and two glimpse two. Yeah. We'll bottom both of these. And then I will pass. Go ahead and go into Drawn Blade, Odds Evens. Uh, evens, I think it's this one. Get rid of Hasty. Get Drawn Blade, draw. Recollect and draw. Uh, oh, pop sorry. Turf. Sorry. Yeah, yeah popping yeah, at recollection. Yeah, totally understand. Seven. How many floating memory? Uh, no floating. One in memory. Five in, uh, five in hand. Okay. I'll just pass. Go ahead. Okay. Um, end of your turn. I'll pay two to Kark Sight to yeah. pick up the Carnet Majesty and draw a card. Yeah. This tech goes away. I will materialize. Sword of Seeking. On end. Uh, begin a recollection. Gain a level. Even. I'll draw. I will deal recollection. I will crock to draw a card. Yeah. And then I will. I will recollect. Draw for turn. I'll pay one to scry the skies. Yeah. For, for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Um, like this. Put the rest on the bottom. We'll put this on top and like this. I will put the top into memory. I will pay I'll pay one and two to Park Site. Sure. Pick out Crux Sight, draw. I will attack for four. Yep. Three. Yep. Attack for another three. Yep. Oh, um. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. 
That was close. Um... I will... I will pass. I'll materialize Excalibur. Draw. Um... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not throw. Oh, but then that is that one, two, four, five, six, seven. And then, yeah, you can just toss. Jeez, man. Uh, okay, we're gonna do. I thought I had enough, but I missed one. Let's do one down. Blazing throw the drawn blade onto your spirit. Okay, spirit takes four. Um. supposed to do that without the draw but the draw was the only to get into it out Are you um let's go ahead and do one two four I'm sorry your screen froze oh, oh okay now now you're, you're back you're right. back now um, I'm gonna do Savage Slash just for two, or I guess I'll use the Excalibur, sure. I'll do three onto the Spirit. Cards left in hand? Uh, five. Okay. Uh, yeah, Spirit would take three, or no, yeah, two. two. So oh, yeah, three, three, yeah, three life left. Go to seven. Um, I'll do one down, blazing throw the Excalibur away to try to kill the Spirit. Um, that is fine. Then I'll attempt to play Stalwart Shield Mate. Okay. And I'll pass. Go ahead. Cards in hand? Uh, zero. Six in memory. Okay, six in memory. Um, end of your turn. I'll pay one to Spirit Blade Ascension. Sort of, sort of way. Grab Prismatic. Yeah, we, we can we can just scoop because I know you have the incarnate too. Um, okay. Yeah, I just couldn't do anything there. The the frostbind is real, man. Well played. Thank you. Good games. It was a good games. Yeah, I like that match a lot. I think uh, I think it might be determined on if I go first or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, these games typically do that. Yeah, fair enough. No, at least right. in this matchup. Well, uh, good luck on the rest of the round. Thank you. You too. Peace. Okay. Our opponent will report, so we don't have to worry about that. Wow. Yeah. Um, I just, I could, I didn't have enough to on soul straight up. Wouldn't deal enough damage. Like on soul straight up by itself. Wouldn't have done anything. Basically it could have cleared the spirit. Um, the, the everything that I did on my last turn just basically didn't matter. Uh, I needed that sword, that draw blade to break because I needed to get into a um, resolute sand or dispersion. Um, and I, don't, I actually don't even know if dispersion did it. Um, but uh, yeah, it just really matters if you go first in that matchup because like on that game two, when I was able to go first and I just free leveled up off floating memory the entire time basically, um, I just had enough card advantage to actually do Onsoul's. That's the other issue with Onsoul right now, is that it is a very, very, um, resource draining card. Uh, not draining, but resource dependent card. And so, yeah, to play around Frostbind, now your Onsoul just by itself costs nine. Um, which is very, very demanding. Uh, so, yeah, that was definitely rough. Um... Just didn't really feel like I had a good time to play my cards in that matchup. Um, this is interesting because I feel like water allies will feel similar because they might be able to deal enough pressure 
I don't know. I, I'd, I'd be interested to see how Water Allies um, plays against this deck. Uh, if Water Merlin's the only, like, obviously, much more testing to do, but if Water Merlin's the only, like, bad matchup where you, you still, like, win if you go first, it doesn't really seem that bad. Like, I'm, I'm kind of, like, okay with that, I think. Um, because also, like, they still have to have Frostbind. Like, I don't know. Very, very interesting. Art is giga expensive. Yeah, it is, man. It is, for sure. And I don't really know, like, how to draw more before that. Like, um, I, I felt like I had to go the slow route with, like, Drawn Blade to get more cards in hand so that I could cast Onslaughts for free. But, uh, yeah, it's awkward, too, because, like, a Terrafring turn just means that your on souls, unless you're also dispersioning, don't really remove anything. And I also felt like I needed Cruxites in that game specifically, and maybe it's a sideboard card, because I don't think I'm going to need Cruxites in most matchups, but in that matchup, in game one of our set, uh, I was really nervous um, about not using on souls, or, like, not having enough on souls. Um... Vin, with the donation of five dollars just come home from work wanted to stop by say hello good luck on your matches tonight uh too tired to stay up today totally understand appreciate the dono man that's super kind of you um i would recommend coming back and watching the stream man these the, this has been a really really interesting run uh but uh yeah yeah you watch it when you got some time on a on a uh on some downtime or something but thank you so much for the dono man super kind of you um yeah, like, uh, I mean, like, game one, I just got unlucky with that uh, on soul banishment. I honestly do think that uh, if he didn't hit that, I had game. Then we go to game two, he goes first, he wins. We go to game three, I go first, I probably win. So it is unfortunate that we won the dice roll, which I think is needed in that matchup, but then we lost the banishment dice roll. Um, but uh, Killidus is also, like, a really good player, so not actually salty or anything. Um, really surprised with how well the deck actually held up, honestly. Uh, <laughs> there <it> is hype. <laughs> oh, Vin, you won a sticker giveaway, by the way. Uh, we did sticker giveaways at the start of the stream for our Patreon members, and you did win one, so I'll, uh, get in contact with you later about that. New reel's pretty interesting. Yeah, uh, do we have time? I, I feel like the next round is just about to start. Yeah, overtime is already called. I'll look at the new reveals after next round. Also, I need to go enter the door prizes. I've been super lucky to win a non-foil ordinary bear promo every uh, every week so far. So that's been really clutch. I think I have three of them now. Um, at least two, but I think three, which is crazy. Uh, so if I win another one tonight, I'll get the, the full play set because we can't go 4-0. Uh, I might not get into the tournament champions this season, man. It's it's been rough. I don't think I've won in this season yet. Um, it's been rough. Yeah, I'm season one tournament winner. Jimmy Lee hasn't uh, hasn't gotten a four zero this season yet either. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Man, dude, those matches that go into time, just crazy. Like, your heart beats so fast. All right, I guess we can talk about the spoilers a little bit until our next round. Uh, all right, so Inzali, Unshackled, Blaze. Can I open this in browser and show the chat? I don't know. We'll, we'll try, guys. We'll try. That works, right? That works. You guys can see that. All right. It's not very big, to be fair. Can I? I can't. Uh, no, I, can, I can't. Uh, maybe I can. Yeah, I can. There you go. All right. In pair deck. Uh, on attack, you may banish a fire element card in your graveyard. If you do, deal one damage to each other unit. That is including your own champion. We don't have many ways to self-harm, or <laughs> I should probably not say that. We don't have many many ways to self-damage 
your champion in the early game especially level three plus memory four plus oh so a class one is cleric okay for that effect level three plus memory plus four and zali gets plus two attack so in the late game when you have a big memory this is a three four for three so even outside of class bonus this is a good card that's restricted to a late game so it's like a weird i don't know manage a fire card from your graveyard if you do deal one damage to each other unit that's so interesting it is a unique ally automaton all important stuff to know i don't think yeti rounds up yet yeah not yet Wait, is it? It's just about to be. Okay. Yep, round three parents are up now. All right, let's go back to mainstream. Uh, I don't have to look for my table number. Nice. Do I have a pop-out player already? I don't. Pop-out. All right, we'll get back to the spoilers afterwards. She's not bad in erupting. Not bad in erupting. Why? Do you get the level from erupting? But like that... I'm curious, why do you say that, Remetic? All of the in graveyard made me make me think that they have to make the next divine relic almost must be a null fine lantern when fracturized loses effect. <laughs> maybe, maybe. How's it going, man? I, hello. I completely went to table nine, forgetting. <laughs> You're all good. You're all good. All right. Let me pull up stuff here. Oh, my camera. All right. How you been doing today, man? Uh, so far so good. Yeah, nice. As to you? Uh, good, good. Had uh had some really fun rounds so far, honestly. So it's been a good night. Yeah, so far you already went against one of my friends, I believe, last the first round. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, super friendly guy. I forgot it was Harrison, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Harrison. Super, super friendly guy. Yeah. Uh, you go with two dice die roll? Yeah, sure. I'm fine with that. Uh, six. All right, so let me get mine. And then half cuts work for you? Yeah, sure. That works for me. Cool. Same for you. I got a eight. All right, you'll be going first. Good luck, man. All right. Good luck to you as well. We're good to start? Yeah, you can go for it. All right. Clear to fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pay two for stalwart shieldmate and pass. Sounds good. We'll go spirit of fire. Draw eight. Stalwart. Let's do hasty and this three down for flame rune. Flame rune is going to swing into the stalwart. Yep. Then I'll swing hasty one at your champion, discarding tempered and drawing one. And I'll pass. Go ahead. All right. Um, using the Star Wars Shield Mate, go to Lorraine level one, bringing out Sword of Seeking. 
Recollect, draw for turn. Mm -hmm. A two for a hasty messenger. Sure. Uh, swing one to face. Take one. On a on attack, I'm gonna discard flame rune swordsman to draw a card. Yep. A three for a flame rune swordsman. Yep. I'm gonna swing two at the hasty. Hasty dies. And I'll swing one to face. Take one. Two to your one. Alright, and I'll pass. I'll banish Tempered, go into my own Lorraine level one, bring out Sword of Seeking as well. And, and recollect. Draw. Um. Hmm. I'll swing two into your hasty. Yep. I'll cremate my flamer. Mm -hmm. Draw two. Play my own flame rune and I'll swing into your flame rune. Alright. Go ahead. I use my two floating memory. Yep. Go to Merlin level two. Yeah. We collect. Go return. Um I will tap to eat your flame rune. A yeah, I'm gonna pay these two. All right, honorable vanguard. Sure. And swing one to face. Take one. And I'll pass. Where's the hand? Three. Go GCR. Top ring. Draw. Uh, recollect, draw. Creative shock. Draw two. Yep. Discard honorable. Swing two into your champion. Yep. Pass, go ahead. Right, wake up. Take a basic GCR. Crack it to draw a card. 
for recollection. I'm going to pay three to creative shock. Draw two. And uh, discard a stalwart shield mate. Yeah. You collect. Draw a turn. Doing one to face. Take one. With Merlin, I'm gonna eat your honorable vanguard. Sounds good. Cut three. Uh, one, two. Three for a Rican Acolyte, destroying your Sword of Seeking. Yeah. Swinging three to face. Uh, it's level three or higher, right? Y yeah, and I'm level four. Oh, you're, yeah, duh, of course, sorry. Go to seven. <laughs> and I will pass the turn. Okay. Um... I'll lose one from memory to go into Drawn Blade. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll the Banish. Two. Here it goes to Pendragon. Go into Drawn Blade. Draw a card. Um, we will recollect and draw. Go dungeon guide. Mm -hmm. We'll keep one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Three. Banish to outsides. Own and tempered. Go the rain level two. Blade master. Then we'll go. Four down for flame sweep. Uh, using the Drawn Blade as well for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so I take 5 going to 8. These two would die. Draw two cards. And then we'll swing 1 and 2 for 3 total. Alright. 11 to 7, go ahead. Alright, click up, using two floating, one, two, three, four, five, six, or I lose a resolute stand. Merlin level three. Alright, for recollection, this goes to three. You collect, draw for turn. All right, with Merlin, I'll swing one to face. Take one, go to eight. Eight, ten, eleven, uh, twelve for Incarnate Majesty. Level sure. six, one banishment. Yep. Swing four at the Dungeon Guide. Dungeon Guide dies. And I will pass. Go Excalibur, her sword, um, recollect, and draw. Ah, uh, let's do... Pretty 
cremate on the flame rune. Draw two. Stalwart, and I'll pass. Go ahead. All right. Play an ornamental greatsword on enter, giving this a temporary one attack. Yeah. For recollection, this goes to four. Draw a card. Collect. Draw for turn. Three, four cards in hand? Four cards in hand, yep. I'm gonna pay... Um, okay, yeah, with the Majestic Spirit, I'm gonna kill the Shieldmate. Shieldmate dies. With Merlin, swing three to face. Pick three, go to 11. I pay two to fireball you for seven, eight. Pick eight. For 19. I'm going to do it again. Yep, good game. All good siding? Yep. Cool. I will go first. All right. Good with half cut again? Yep. I'm fine with that. Oh, jeez. All right. Good luck. Good luck. I'll go stalwart and then cremate her, draw two. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Throw for turn. Pay two for a Mobile Vanguard. Sure. Pay three more for Cremation Ritual. Sure. So that gets to draw two cards. And I'll pass. Uh, Banish Stalwart, going to level one. Recollect, draw. Uh, let's do 
One, two, hasty, swing one at champion, discard, tempered steel, draw one. Mm -hmm. And I'll go... One, two, three, flame rune, swing two. Yep. Um, swing one with Lorraine. All right. Go ahead. Use Honorable Vanguard to go to Lorraine level one. We need out Sword of Seeking. Collect. Draw a turn. I'll swing one at hasty. Yep. Pay three for a dungeon guide. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four. I lose a Star Wars shield mate, so evens odds. Evens. I lose a flame run swordsman. Go to Merlin level two. Uh, the dungeon guy's still on board, right? Oh yeah, I don't know why I discarded that. <laughs> You're all good. Swing one at the hasty. Yep, hasty dies. And I will pass the turn. Lose the tempered steel. Go draw a blade. Draw a card. Recollect. Draw a card. Swing two. Yep. Put two down. Hasty. Swing one into champion. Discard tempered. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. Um. Savage Slash with the Drawn Blade for three into you? Yep. You get a 10 to my zero. And I'll pass. Go ahead. An ornamental greatsword. Recollect. Draw for turn. Merlin, I'll eat your tempered steel. three for a dungeon guide sure one two three four five six roll to keep one keep this i lose a focus flames cremation ritual run the level three yeah swing one at the hasty yeah swing one more at the hasty uh that one's two just fi no this one's one you ornamental this turn. Yeah, but that's a class bonus. Oh, you're right. I uh, yeah. was mage at the time. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Never mind. <laughs> uh, pay two for a Ghost of Pendragon. Nice. Bring in Sword of Seeking back. Draw two cards. And I'll swing three to face. Take three. 
and I will pass the turn. Okay. How many cards in hand and memory? Two in hand, three in memory. Okay. Here to Savage Slash and one other. Uh, one through four. We roll on five and six. Five. One. Just a pen dragon. Go to level two. We collect draw. Uh, we'll do four down for flame sweep with the sword for five. Five? Yep. All right. So everything dies. And I take five going to 15. I'll draw three. And swing two. 17. Go ahead. Bring it. Look up. Uh, materialize Crystal Empowerment. Collection. Draw a card for Merlin. Recollect. Draw a turn. Uh, swing for three a, a flame rune. Flame rune dies. Um, I'll banish this to gain two level. I have one sword in banishment, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve for a incarnate majesty. Yeah. Swing four to face. Take four, going to seven tier seventeen. And I'll pass the turn. This wakes up. I'll end phase creative shock, draw two. Discard one. Um, part of blazing people. And up. Um. Sorry, cards in memory in hand? Four in memory, two in hand. Get rid of flame rune and two more to go into level three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You want to just give me two numbers, one through seven? Uh, three and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Blazing Throw and a Ghost of Pendragon. Um, Spirit Ruler's effect will happen. I'll bring back Thrawn Blade, draw a card. Four counter. Recollect, draw. Yeah, two down. Ghost of Pendragon, return Drawn Blade, draw two. <laughs> Weirdest thing ever, but I'm going to cremate my ghosts. Oh, okay. <laughs> draw two. Two down, shield mate pass. Wake up. Realize a sword of seeking. Collection this goes to three. Collect. Of turn.
Play two for a Ghost of Pendragon, bringing back Sword of Seeking. Yep. And I'll pay three for a Verukan Acolyte. Yep. And I'll swing three at the Shieldmate. Yep. Three to face. Take three. Four to face. Take four. 14 to your 17. All right. And I'll pass the turn. This wakes up. Banish shield mate. Go into drawn blade. Draw a card. Uh, recollect and draw. Um. Creative? Draw two? Yep. Or tempered steel? Creative? Draw two? Discard flame rune? I'll pass, go ahead. How many cards in hand? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, all right. Play Sword of Seeking. Yep. Recollection, this goes to four. Draw for Merlin. Recollect. And then draw for turn. Swing three to face. I'll respond with Resolute Stand. In response to your Resolute Stand, a two to fireball you for seven, eight. Go to 22. All right. So Acolytes cancel the attack. Hmm. I'm going to pay two for a Ghost of Pendragon, bring yep. about Sword of Seeking to draw two cards. Yep. And I'll swing uh, technically one to face. Yep. Three. And I will pass the turn. This looks up. Okay. Um, I will materialize GCR, pop it. Draw. Yes. Recollect. Draw. Man. Ah, uh, my gosh. Play hasty. Mm. Swing of uh, one into acolyte. Uh, discard flame rune draw. <sighs> um, hasty mm. swing one into Ghost of Pendragon. Uh, discard yep. honorable draw. I'll pass. Half of one would then be zero, wouldn't it? Correct, yep. Alright. Uh, one through four, re roll on five and six. Yep. Five, six. Oh my gosh. Three, okay. I lose an armor vanguard. We can not draw and blade on enter, draw a card. This goes to five. Recollect. Draw for turn. Swing through to face. 
I will go one, two, three, resolute. All right. Uh, I'll swing three at one of the hasties. Hasty dies. Two for a hasty messenger swinging one at the hasty. Yep. On attack, I'm gonna discard incinerary fractal to draw a card. Two more for a hasty. On attack, swing one more at the last. Yep. On, the ha on attack, I'm gonna discard a Verukan acolyte draw a card. And then I'll swing one to face. Take one. And then I'll pass. This wakes up. Materialize Excalibur. Recollect Raw. Yeah, you got it. Um, that's just wild, dude. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. 23 cards left in the deck, and all four onsoles are still in here. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm that hot. was just really bad uh, bad luck. But anyways, good games, man. Sorry. I got I got a little uh, tilted there. I shouldn't have uh, yeah. got too focused on that. No, it happens sometimes, man. Yeah, that's that's the problem with uh, running a deck that relies on four cards for a win con, right? <laughs> it's the deck's design. It is. That's that's kind of what makes it very susceptible to a lot of yeah, things. For sure. Um, but good games either way, man. Sorry that I was a little bit of a downer. My apologies about that. No, um, no it's completely fine. I understand. I've been through the same back when I played in Soul a lot. Sure, sure. Yep. <laughs> but uh, good luck in the last round, dude. Good luck to your next game as well, man. Oh, did I have the window capture up the whole time? Oh, no, no, no. I don't think I did. Yeah, it went away. Okay. Um. Wow. Yeah, sorry. That was just tilting, dude. Uh, I even, like, double creative in a turn just to try to dig and stuff. Crazy, man. That is one of the downsides of uh, Ansel decks. You know, low low crux count now. Ansel decks used to have a high crux count, so um, you had a more chance of a bricking, but then you had the Ascension Prismatic or Ascension Avarice package, so you drew through more of your deck. I mean, I got down to 23 cards left in deck, and a single Ansel won me game there with um, how many cards I had in hand. I can Ansel. Uh, get a ton of floating memory, banish with Erendite, swing Erendite into the Majestic Spirit, um, Blazing Throw, one of the other swords, kill off the Majestic Spirit, swing into face, and even if he has Resolute Stand, I could Dispersion to go for the game. So I'm pretty sure it was guaranteed no matter what. I just had to draw an Onsoul, which just could not happen, dude. Unbelievable. Um, but yeah, it's part of the game. And like, you can't run like Orb of Regret or something, like... You don't have the material deck space. Yeah, the no onsole was heartbreaking, honestly. That it just uh game one felt like I had a really good position, and then I got double fireball Merland. Uh, and then game two, just 23 cards left in deck, couldn't see onsole. But it happens. Like I said, like I try not to get like all like woe is me, oh, I'm so unlucky and stuff like that, because realistically, like that is what my deck is. I'm running a deck that relies on seeing there's four cards in the deck that I basically have to see to win the game. Um, I can win without them, but especially once like Majestic Spirit comes out, I basically need Onsol. Um, and so like that's just it, it is it is just how the deck is designed. So you can't like be all uh, I don't know. 
It's why I play. It's it's why I normally play consistent decks. <laughs> this is why I play like no third element decks. I like just, uh, dude. I just I just want to play Swarm again. I just want to play Wind Swarm. I don't think I've played Wind Swarm once uh, in a tournament setting since Ascent. I miss it, man. I miss it. Miss it a lot. Uh, you can ignore the class requirements, pre-commit her and get three damage for free. Like I said, not bad, but I don't think she's great. Yeah, like, it's kind of like a weird, like, Veruca and Acolyte thing, where, like, Veruca and Acolyte can do the same thing, but it has one health, so it's dying. This is, like, we got three health, or four health, I mean. You can, like, play it, swing for one. And, like, if they kill it, like, you just prevented four damage to yourself, and put another fire carding drop, I guess. Like, it's interesting. Um, let's take a look at the other spoilers, because I think we got a little bit of time. Forge, Late, Shield, Maiden. Another three costs. Foster. Guardian. Okay. Cool art. She, like, even holding these shields? Like, look at her arm. She's, like, just touching it. <laughs> On Foster, draw two cards, then discard a card. Whoa. Last bonus, if a fire element card was discarded, put a buff counter on Forge Light Shield Maiden. That's pretty cool. Cam is stuttering every 10 seconds. I don't know. I don't know how to fix that. Sorry. That ally also stops Foster. Oh, she... Oh, you're right, Ram. Yeah, that is interesting. And if you play Prismatic, you can damage your own Bloom Slime. Get a buff counter. <laughs> Creative, sh stop. Creative Shock on a Stickish. Yeah, it's, it's a... It's interesting. It's a Creative Shock as long as Foster goes through... And it's not immediate, which is, like, a big, big part of Creative Shock. Because it's at the beginning of Recollection Phase, so it's like you can't even use the card you discard for materialization. So it's, like, almost like you're waiting two turns. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, actually. Um, but then, yeah, it can become a 2-3. No, Blue Slime is Tamer. Oh, is it Tamer class bonus? Oh, yeah, probably. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, run it in Tamer, bro. The other one's not class bonus. Yeah, it is. Never mind. Shut up, Rem. <laughs> oh, boy. This one's interesting. Both of them, both of them are interesting. All right, let's take a look at the last one. Is this a, is this a SR? Hello? Open? Oh, I need to zoom in again, though. All right, Forge Light Scepter, Regalia Item, Cleric Scepter. Class bonus, this card costs one less to materialize. Okay. At the beginning of each opponent's end phase, if that player has an odd amount of cards in their memory, deal two unpreventable damage to their champion. That's pretty crazy. I don't know if that's good, but that's pretty crazy. Cleric class bonus. Eric class bonus. Two unpre like unpreventable damage is very wild in this game. You have to think, like, wind comes to mind, right? Wind is usually like where you can get someone to like 25 damage out of like 28, and then they just like prevent everything you do for four turns in a row while slowly killing you, right? Like, wind currently doesn't have great ways to deal with Galia. They definitely could in this set. Oh, excuse me. But to materialize a zero cost that can deal to unpreventable damage. At the beginning of each opponent's end phase. So when you materialize this, they will have a chance to change their memory 
while this is out. Like, that's so... That's... If it was, like, at the beginning of each opponent's recollection phase, that'd be really interesting. Because then it's like, okay, well, you probably ping them for two the turn you bring this out, right? But with it being in their end phase, they're really in complete control of this card. Like, they are, they are and they aren't, right? Like, they can't... Like, you can't always play around something. Sometimes you just have to play into something. It's gonna kill them, you know, if they're at 26 damage on a 28 health champion. Yeah, I mean, they lose if they don't play around it, so... Yeah, this one's a very interesting one. I can't tell. This one, like... I don't think it's busted. I think think it's gonna be one of the worst srs in the set that's a that's a early hot take for y'all early hot take this might be one of the worst srs in the set but still pretty good i feel like it really messes with people like someone will overthink it and some won't care at all yeah no for sure right it is a very interesting regalia, absolutely. But I do think it's just not gonna be good. One out of five. I don't know. I mean, that that's saying that this card is worse than Grailer, and are there really any cards worse than Grail? I don't know. This one's really... I will say, this is definitely the SR that if I pull a foil of, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be like, are you kidding me? Like, any other SR foil. Come on. Yeah, that one's interesting. Uh, let's hide this again. Alright. I think that's all the spoilers that they did. <laughs> yeah, someone made a meme of Scepter of Lumo Lumina versus... Uh, the other scepter, Forge Light scepter. Yikes. Do we have do we have a wind scepter? Ventus is a staff, I think. I don't think we have a wind scepter. That'll be interesting. I'm I'm very interested to see the wind scepter. Bring it, bring it out with Grail. Yeah, I mean, really sacrificing your card draw to do that. Maybe, dude. I mean, honestly, like real talk, that actually could be worth it. Like the interesting thing is too, is you could do that even outside of Cleric right because if you pay one for it it's like if that two is just gonna win you the game who cares if you're paying one you grail at the end of their turn that would actually be kind of interesting no way to cheat this out in other colors right outside of like prismatic of course oh I'm yawning so much. It's only 11 p.m. Also, how much time do we have left in the round? Uh, we have... Four 14 minutes. Whoa, guys. Got my butt kicked. Bro, it's so sad, too. Like, I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little sad tonight. Because I came into this tournament thinking, like, okay, my deck's, like, probably not the greatest. No, I don't think this is a tier 1 deck. But, like, let's have some fun, right? Let's throw some swords. This is a fun deck to play. And then, like, against Kilidus and my last round, I really feel like I, I should have won those matches. And just luck wasn't on my side. It's, like, it's a little heartbreaking. Because, like, going 4-0 with this deck would have been insane. Also, like, with the glitter, like, it, it, I feel like it looks like I'm about to cry. <laughs> I'm not that sad about it. <laughs> but I feel like my eyes look very, very glittery right now. 
I'm just on the verge of tears, guys. Why can't my Ansel kill people? Why can't I draw Ansel, guys? Cave and washed. Bro, mega washed, man. I made it to finals of Tournament of Champions in last season for Yeti. And now I can't even go 4 0 to qualify for the next Tournament of Champions. I needed to beat Matt G in season one so that I would have qualified for all of them going forward without needing to actually go 4 0. I'm washed, guys. Please go to our website and pre-order your set three ALC kits or uh, cases, boxes, and structure decks because uh, I'm not going to win any more money playing tournaments. So we, ne we need the financial support. Also on our website, you can find tickets to the Michigan Regionals happening December 16th, hosted by True Champion Gaming. It's going to be an epic event, honestly. Like, I'm really so excited for it. Kaven started playing decks without squirrels and now he doesn't top anymore. Coincidence? Bro, I started playing level three decks and now I don't top anymore. That's that like that's literally what it is, dude. Uh I'm just gonna become a one trick level one deck uh pony. I said that so weird. But yeah, I'm just gonna one trick uh level one decks. No more advanced elements for me. I'm just gonna sell every single advanced element card I have. Bro, like, I literally almost did that one night. I was so, so mad. Playing, like, a 14 Crux card deck and just bricking nonstop game after game. While these people run 18 Crux card decks and say that they never brick. And I was just like, dude, I just, I can't play Third Element anymore. Whoa. Now level zero is the real meta. Yeah, for real, dude. I mean, honestly, like, that that pretty much is what our Ascent deck was. It really was a level zero deck. Like, you you stayed on level zero for three, three to four turns. Like, I won games on level zero for sure. Play Erupting, dude. Erupting is, like, the level zero deck. I think Erupting's the easiest deck to win on level zero with. Dude, do I just play Erupting? you brick with erupting? Yeah. I won't draw my combo pieces. I'll draw four erupting and zero armor song. See, like, how is erupting such a consistent deck when it relies on seeing a copy of each of four cards that you run into your deck? But on soul is inconsistent when you only need one. And I feel like the way I built this deck, you draw pretty much the same as an erupting deck, or close to it. Oh, shit. Or, shoot. Oh, by the way, guys, I desperately need to run some ads. Forgot about that completely. All right. I'm gonna check my phone real quick, see if my wife has texted me at all. All right. Console decks play with half a material deck. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you're, you're totally right, man. Like, Drawn Blade materializations have felt so awkward, too. I feel like I need to go into Drawn Blade. <sighs> to get the Spirit Ruler effect. But then it's just taking me forever. Because, like, I'm also not seeing a lot of dungeon guides tonight, either. But yeah, the half a material deck does hurt. And like, it's rough too, because my Onslaught attacks don't deal that much damage because I built it to do a little bit better with some um, dispersion. Like my own, my Onslaught attack is dealing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven with a champion swing. 
that's pretty low. Um, but that's if I have no refinement counters on Erendite, because since I can do the champion swing on that as well, that can quickly adjust it. Because it goes from 11 to one floating memory is 15 now. So it, it does ramp up very quickly. Another floating memory is 19, which is like 15, I think, is about what old Onslaught decks used to get to with like the Karnwinen and stuff. So it really isn't that bad. But I like, I, I need to see like dungeon guys, I think. Also, like, usually had a dungeon guide into, like, level 2, which has been weird. I'm just washed, guys. Let's be real. This is a very interesting deck, though. I'm not ready to give up on this deck. I, I think the card that's felt the worst in this deck is Honed by Fire. I originally put it in because I was like... It's decent for, like, ally control. Clear off your opponent's board and stuff. Makes it really easy to do those swings, like, big attacks. Um, this with, like, you know, flame sweep early is really nice. So you can, like, sweep a ally heavy board before you're even level 2. If you, like, went second and you just don't have the time before you're going to die or something. Um, and, like, also has synergy with, like, keeping your stuff around a little bit longer to be able to blaze and throw it or dispersion it and get the extra durability and all that kind of stuff. But, like, I really can't use a card from hand. Um, I can't... Like, it's so important to have cards in hand. I can't be just, like, playing a card just to, like, do something. Like, I need to be playing a card to, like, get floating memory in the drop or, like like i don't know you know what i mean like everything like a lot of other things like do something own definitely feels like the worst and i'm not really sure i would put it what i would put in outside of like rock sites or something just in case i do play against water and need to recycle on souls and stuff but that just seems kind of bad i don't really want to go ascension because like i don't like i can't do like prismatic i don't think um I don't think that I don't think that works in this deck. Ascension doesn't really work. I could do like fast cure. Honestly, I think fast cure might be better cuz it's just straight up floating memory. And then maybe try to replace something else with fractal of insight as well. No, I don't think that's necessary um home by fire is just a minus one card yeah that that's like that's definitely what it's feeling like definitely what it's feeling like inspiring call that's interesting because like i have felt like there's been some games where i was just rushing face like i was just doing red things especially with how many like blazing throws I run and stuff like that um if your opponent's not dealing with your allies like you can't just like rush damage like I think that happened against Killidus in one game where like I felt like I was rushing him to level three and not allowing him to stick on level two even though I had floating memory in the drop because I was just doing so much damage to him so yeah I think inspiring over hone makes sense it's like almost doing a similar thing to, to what I wanted hone to do but it's replacing itself i don't know if it's the right card but i do agree that it's a better card that is important first set case break soon yeah first set box prices weren't so low first set box prices are like too low for me to sell but not low enough for me to buy <laughs> yeah dude ga market is so odd honestly i could go on like a four hour talk about ga market that Probably like two percent of you guys would be in. Yeah, being really limited in the material deck does hurt. I do feel like if I go inspiring too, not only is it replacing itself, it's definitely better than home, but it's also cycling because like. I just, I want to see those onsoles, you know, like I want to see, I like cycle in this deck is really important. 
I want to see those dungeon guides, you know? Yeah. Echo inspiring. And then... I love the idea of four blazing throw, but I haven't had enough cards to really make it feel worth it. I think I might get rid of Banner Knights. Banner Knight's just too cute. If I'm in a position to play Banner Knight plus Ansel, I can just play Ansel Dispersion, Ansel Blazing Throw and stuff like that and deal the extra damage that way. Because like Banner Knight you can do like the turn before, which is really nice. But I don't think I really need it. And like you don't need it on like the level two sweep turn really. Like five damage is killing stuff. Most of the time. I guess I'm like Sylvie, but like I'm not really So I can take out two Banner Knight and four Hone by Fire. And play four Inspiring Call. Like, I want to play... I want to put Gentle Respite in the deck. That's literally all I'm thinking about. But that's such a bad card. Like, I can't play that. I could do four Inspiring Call, four Gentle Respite if I took out the Honorables too. Because it's like, well, Gentle's at worst case floating memory for me to discard off, like, floating or uh, creative and hasty. So, like, almost fills the same roles as Honorable, although Honorable's another cremation target, which is, like, a little bit better. But... If I have Gentle Respite in here, I have to play Glimpse Frackles. I don't know what another four cards are that I could cut. Time's up in two minutes, by the way. So we got seven minutes-ish before we start the next one. Is it 2x or 4x Banner Knights? It's 2x Banner Knights. So, cards to cut... You gotta play Exodia next week. That's a real deck. Uh, oh yeah, that's also another important thing to mention. Next week we will not be doing a Yeti stream. Uh, I also let Andy know. Um, but yeah, just let you guys know the channel. Uh, the TCG team is heading, flying down to Florida for their regionals. Um, so and our flight leaves on Thursday. Uh, sorry, I got distracted. So we will not be streaming. Um, we're going to be enjoying the nice nice weather down in Florida because it is cold up here in Michigan already. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, we will miss you guys. Um, but hopefully, uh, you know, we do well in regionals. We have some stuff to talk about on our Patreon podcast. We do a podcast every week on our Patreon. Um, and I'm sure we'll recap that over there and uh, hopefully have some cool stories to tell. Uh, we got... I think I think we know what we're playing at regionals, and uh, it, it'll it'll be interesting. Um, Exodia for Florida, not that. No, 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 sir. Not if we're paying for plane tickets. Um, so yeah, yeah. No, no Yeti stream next week, but the week afterwards we should be uh, dreaming still. And I think I think I'll be moved into my new place. Which means that we might have a better setup. Uh, Fuji, thank you so much for the donation, man. That's so kind of you. Uh, second donation of the night. Super, super, uh, awesome that you guys are supporting so much. Really do appreciate it, for real. Um, definitely makes my night better, too, because I'm, like, actually a little heartbroken about, about how the games have gone a little bit tonight. Um, I think this is a super cool deck. I really do. And, uh, wish we could be sitting undefeated on it right now. Um, thank you so much for the donation, dude. Uh, the continued donations too. I mean, you've been donating on like the 24 hour stream and stuff like that too. So really appreciate that. Thank you. Did you hear about the 1 million fab prize pool? Uh, I didn't. I, I, fab, fab seems like a pretty decent game. I think fab's like doing okay. Um, hope the tourney went well. Uh, it's honestly been a blast. Tonight has been really fun. 
tonight has been really fun. I'm playing a very, very fun deck. Um, yeah, Fab is, Fab is like a fine game. Uh, you know, like I know BSS is struggling a little bit, even though they have their $1 million tourney. That game seems to not be doing hot whatsoever. Uh, their market is just completely uh, done, done bad, <laughs> done poorly. Um, anyways, yeah. GA's prize pool is really insane. People don't really realize it, but I think it has some of the best value when you like actually sit down and compare it. I was watching the matches. The deck looks sick. Yeah, it is. It is cool. I want. I want to improve on this deck. I think it. It has shown tonight to be at least close to a meta deck. So I think it deserves some more time. Your team could probably kill Fab as well. They, so here's the thing, dude. We can only play one card game. Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. Because of the way that we're approaching GA, where we are competitive players going to every single major event. So like we put our calendar for up until like set three release and we're doing something every single weekend. Um, and on top of that, we're content creators, arguably like the biggest content creators in the game. So like, it's very important that we keep content creation up. Like I don't want to do something that would harm our content creation. We've like shifted our lives around content creation for GA, which is why we talk about so many times, like, thank you guys for supporting the channel and stuff, because like, it does massively mean a lot. Um, like I just saw that we got a merch order. Uh, I got an email for that during our stream. And, like, it's so, so cool to see that. So cool to see that people are willing to pay money for stuff that like not only supports us, but like represents us. That's so awesome. I love it when we get merch orders. Um, but yeah, I mean, so we're, we're doing a very intense content creation schedule. We have YouTube, we have free YouTube videos going out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 p.m. EST every single week. We have a exclusive Patreon podcast on Tuesday. Um, we have other exclusive Patreon content on Thursday, either a very in-depth article or like extra gameplay videos or whatever. That's kind of like our miscellaneous Patreon day. But Tuesday is always a weekly podcast for Patreon. Then we also have the Yeti streams that I'm doing right now on Thursdays as well. So we have Patreon content and free YouTube content as well. So yeah, we have four days of the week, more than every other day, free YouTube content being posted. Um, all of that in addition to engaging in our Discord, talking to our Patreon level three members, like as quick as possible. Like I really try to like be on it with those messages and stuff. Just talking to no, like, you know, regular members of our Discord and stuff like that. Um, trying to be plugged into the community as well. Like me and Terry are very often talking in um, many GA discords and stuff. And then also the time spent to test so that not only we keep up on a competitive level, um, but you know, we actually can bring you guys solid content. So it's not, we're not doing deck profiles of something that we just net deck from someone else and we don't even understand how it's being played, right? So all of that plus all the other stuff that we do on top, like in our in our life, right? Like there is no time for for another game whatsoever. Um, if there was, we would have to completely cut out content creation and being involved with the community, which I'm not interested in. I would rather play GA and be involved like how we are right now than hyper competitive two games at once. Um, if you asked me before I got into GA, I, I, I well, I mean, I, I did do that once. Uh, I did play multiple card games competitively at once. It was a, for a very short amount of time because uh, it was basically right before GA. And like, yeah, it's fine. I would consider doing that. But because of how we are with GA, like I just have so much love and passion for this game and like the community and like the content creation has like really shown through it as well. Like I would much rather be all in on GA and not do two card games competitively. Even if another card game was like pretty solid, like I hear Fab is solid. Um, obviously they have good prizes and stuff, but my time and our team's time is completely devoted to GA. Uh, and the reason for that is because we all truly believe it is the best card game out there. And, uh, we want to help spread that, you know, like we get a lot of newer players watching our content and, um, I've had a lot of new people be like, you know, I watched your deck profile, your gameplay video, whatever, and like fell in love with GA and like, I'm switching to this game. 
And it's like so awesome when I hear when I see and hear those messages. Um, so any new players, any new people that are watching this for the first time, or maybe you just recently got into the game, you know, let, let me know, you know, like it's, it, th those little messages like do truly mean a lot. Um, anyways, I, I should probably check round time, right? And it's seven minutes ago, bro. Like, do we have parents? No, we don't have parents. Okay. It should be coming up any minute now, but sorry, that's my long winded explanation as to why. Uh, why we don't play other card games why I don't really give other card games like my time the time of the day honestly um yeah it's just it's GA for life man GA ride or die where can I learn about the GA prize pool um there's an article on Grand Archive's website that has a picture of an altar ring GCR on it and it's called like premier play overview or something like that that will give you the breakdown of like what I think I think that gives a breakdown on what to expect per like uh, event level. Um, but like realistically, like I don't have enough time to go into it before round four pairings are up. Um, maybe we'll do like a podcast, a Patreon podcast about it, because I could see that being like a really good like we usually try to keep those about 30 minutes. And I could see us talking about the prize support for the game in 30 minutes, but then then, then it's being released only to Patreon members, which like probably already know about the prize support. Like if you're a Patreon member, you're probably like definitely at least very inter interested in GA. So maybe not, maybe, maybe I'm hesitant to do a YouTube channel podcast though. The issue is that there's so many other YouTubers already doing podcasts for GA. Like it's, it's the most created content for GA. So I tried, I, I try to, we try to hit what, what um, isn't being hit for YouTube content. I don't know. I can find the link. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah, Rheumatic. Thank you. Do you think GA would be better without haste or would it take too long? No, haste is fine in this game. Like, part of the reason that this game is so good is it is one of the... It, it is the best designed game I've ever came across. Like, this meta is a perfect example of that. There are so many good decks. It is unbelievable how many good decks that you can play and sit down and actually have a chance of winning with. All right, round four pairings are up. Time for me to stop rambling. Mr. Bob Sherbel is playing against me. I love Bob. Uh, mainstream, perfect, all right. I love GA, this game is honestly the best card game I've ever played and I've been around the block. Yeah, no, for real. Like I, 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 I played 15 plus years of card games, 10 plus different games throughout those 15 years unbelievable how good this game is like i have so much faith in this game that is why we are dedicating our lives to it like honestly ga is my life and it is i i, I feel like i can speak with terry for, for terry and isaac it is their life too like um you know how much i hate how many decks i need to prepare for we yeah like that's actually something that we've talked we've touched on in our podcast was people always ask for an open format, but it kind of, it, it has its, it has its cons as well, right? I think it's cool to have them here and there. Is it really that balance? I do agree on the good design it is very modern, very good. Yes. I, I mean, you like, I, I can't think of a card game that has had better balance than this game. I stand by that statement. In the 13 years I played card games, G is by far the best. Yeah. And, and like, it's so cool because like, People always, like, so many people in the community talk about that, right? Like, um, anyways, I'll stop rambling. We have uh, Mr. Bob joining us. How you doing, man? Oh, uh, good. How about you? Good. I am streaming just uh, just as a heads up. I'm sure you're, yeah. you're aware, but just want to let people know. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, just so you know, how I've been... I have a very jank setup, so how I've been actually viewing my matches is I have a, uh, I have to have another account joined to watch it on my computer because I've got my phone as my camera. Yep, that's fine. Okay, and um, I don't see the uh, feature match room for that one, so oh. I think I need like a permission thing yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me message someone about that. Okay. Uh, Andy or Chick Flu. Sorry, I don't know how to say your username. Um, if you guys are watching, oh wait, I think Andy already. 
Oh, and well, Andy just commented. So, Andy, can you give uh, Bob, Bob? What's your alternate account? Oh, I just phone? I just sent a thing in the tournament chat. It's okay. just a misspelling of my name. Okay, cool. If you can give that uh, permission, so we can get started. Okay, appreciate it. Really wish I was able All to right. play more. It hit me a couple days ago. I'm not going to get to play in a sequel local until Seth Green's a little depressing. LOL. I'm happy I can help organize the game. Yeah, like, I was very, very glad to have you join the um, 24-hour stream tournament. That was really awesome to see you play there, Andy. You uh, are a pretty de decent player um, for not being able to play too much. So, All right, cool. Looks like your phone got in. Let me pop out that. All right. Um... Then I have to hide non-video participants. Perfect. There we go. Should be cooking. All right. Thank you, Andy, or uh, whoever set that up. Um, are you good with yeah, appreciate half, it. half cuts and two dice high roll? Oh, uh, yeah. Cool. Oh, uh, eight. I got five. Cool. Sounds so you're good. up. Good luck. All right. Good luck. Go spirit of fire. Draw seven. Oh yeah, I love the uh the altar spirit. It's very cool. Yeah. Uh, Quinn did a really really good job on it. I think it turned out well. Yeah, I like it. Uh, we will. Just play a Flame Rune Swordsman and pass. Okay. Alright. Um, Spirit of Wind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one for turn. I'll go three down for a lurking assailant. And then uh pass. Sounds good. We will wind with lurking assailant. Alright. Um what could that be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh let's see. I will go. Nah, I'm being greedy. Uh, I'll go level one. Bring out okay. sort of seeking. Banish one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Gotcha. Four. Oh, wait, one. Yeah, okay. Uh, get rid of blazing throw, and recollect. And um, okay. then we will do. One, two, Savage Slash into the Lurking with the Sword of Seeking. Yeah, how much is that coming in for? Three? Uh, three total, yep. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to Favorable Wins. Sure, one down. Sounds good. Uh, we'll go two. Oh, I'm sorry. I will, I will retaliate it. Yeah, yep, yep. All good. Um, we'll go two with Flame Rune into Champion. Into Champion, got it. So two to two, and then I will pass. Go ahead. Gotcha. Um, I'll go into Lorraine one with a Sword of Seeking. Yeah. Uh, using Floating. Oops, there we go. And then Recollect, Draw.
I'll go three down for a esteem knight. Sure. Um, and I will swing two at you. Take two. Um, and then I will. I'll swing two at you with the lurking as well. Take two. Okay. And I'll pass. Cards in hand and memory? Uh, three and three. Banish Savage Slash. Go for Drawn Blade. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. I'll recollect and draw. They're both two threes, right? That uh, yeah. Savage slash with the drawn blade into lurking assailant. Mm, all right, he'll die. Okay. Honorable? Mm -hmm. One into Steam Knight? Um, yeah. I'll take one. Two into Steam Knight. Yep, he'll die. Go ahead. Alright. Um, I'll go Fire Bobble. Uh, recollect and draw. Um... I'll go one, two, uh, three down for a dream fairy on the um, flame rune. Um, and I'll swing one at you. Go to seven. Uh, I'll pop the fire bobble and draw. Um, and I'll go three down for a Wind Rider. Yep. And swing two at you. I'll take two, go to nine. All right, and I'll uh, pass. Oh, and Wind Rider will wake up. Cards in memory? Uh, six. I'll go into Lorraine Blade Master. Gotcha. Use the Savage Slash. And one for memory. Uh, one through five, reroll on six. One. Flame sweep. Mm -hmm. Draw one. Attempt to kill the dream fairy. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. Sword breaks. Draw one. Uh, three down, creative shock, draw two, discard tempered steel, three down, mm -hmm. flame rune, swing one with okay. vanguard. Um, uh, okay, take one. And then two with the flame rune. Uh, I'll retaliate it. Sounds good. Go okay. ahead. Nine. Okay. 
I'm gonna go GCR. Uh, recollect and draw. Um, I'll go three down for an esteemed knight. Sure. And swing two at you. Take two, go to 11. Yeah. Um, and then pop the ring and draw. Uh, and I will go three down for a lurking. Sure. And swing two. Take two, go to 13. And your go. I'll banish two floating and one from memory. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three. Banner Knight. We'll go Spirit Ruler. Spirit Ruler's effect. Going to bring back Drawn Blade. Draw a card from it. Mm -hmm. Recollect. Draw for turn. Uh, one and two. Ghost of Pendragon. Turn the draw blade. Draw two. Mm -hmm. Swing three into the lurking. Okay. Swing one into the steam knight. Okay. Take one. Cremation, the honorable vanguard. Mm -hmm. Draw two. Savage slash the uh, Steam Knight for two more. Yep, got him. Go ahead. Okay. I'll go with uh terrifying and then recollect and draw mm, I'll go three down for a wind rider. Um, and I'll swing two at you. Take two, go to 15. Mm -hmm. And sorry, Spirit Ruler has 28, right? Yep. Gotcha. Um, every, I'm going to pass. Every Crux champion mm -hmm. right now has 28 health. Gotcha. Um, I'll banish Savage Slash. Go for Draw Blade. Uh, mm -hmm. Draw a card. Recollect and draw. Anything in recollection? Um uh yeah, I'll get I'll get rid of the terror frame. Okay, sounds good. Um and Vanguard's restand. Oh yes, thank you. Yeah, all good. Pay to kill it with ghost. Um I'll I'll deflecting edge it. Okay. Swing one with Spirit Ruler into it. Okay. Oh, and you, yeah, you paid the two for that, right? Oh, I uh, no, I don't think I did. Yeah, my bad. Put two no, down, good. and then put three down for Flame Rune, and I'll put two <clears> down to attempt to kill the Vanguard. Uh, yeah, I um, I'll retaliate it. Okay, sounds good. Then I'll pass. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna grab a crystal of empowerment. Um, recollect and draw. Hmm. 
I I'll swing one at you with the sword. Take one. Uh, and I'll pass. Okay. Three stand. I'll go GCR. Mm -hmm. Recollect. Draw. Uh, pop ring. Draw. Set two down, stalwart shield mate, swing at you for three. Uh, yep, take three. I'll pass, go ahead. <laughs> All right. I'll go poison coating oil. Yeah. Recollect, or yeah, and draw. I'll go. Hmm. I'll go five down for a phalanx captain. Sure. Um, and pass. Say one floating memory for a seer sword. Mm hmm. Uh, in recollection, put two down, pwned by fire it. Mm hmm Put two down, pwned by fire it. Mm hmm Recollect, draw, uh, swing five with Seer Sword, uh, on attack, glimpse two. Mm hmm Bottom deck both. Gotcha. Putting you 10 to my 16. Mm -hmm. um, attempt to swing three with Ghost. Yep. Ghost of Pendragon. Mm -hmm. Turn it. Draw two. Uh, one, two down. Banner Knight. Mm -hmm. Swing four at you. Yep, 17. Swing one at you. 18. Hasty. Swing yep. two at you. You got it. All right, good game. Good game. And went halfway through my deck and uh, didn't actually see a card that I was really trying to dig for. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's been happening uh an odd amount tonight. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I uh I was seeing a lot, a lot of my three cost allies. I just had like an <laughs> endless amount of them. But I didn't yeah. have any of my like any of my spicy stuff. And then I when I ran out of the three cost allies I had no more momentum. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I get that.
Alright, you want to go first or second? Um, I'll go first. Sounds good. Good luck. Uh, it's halfway good? Halfway yeah, cut? Yeah, yeah, yep. Gotcha. Uh, Spirit of Wind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I'll go two down for a swift recruit and pass. Fire, draw eight. Ooh, um. Shield may pass. Gotcha. I'll go fire bubble. Um, recollect and draw. Mm. I'll go. Mm, I'll swing. No, sorry. I'll go three down for a Dream Fairy. Yeah, that's a pretty decent one. Um, I'll swing one at you. Take one. And one at you. Take one. Um, and then I'm gonna pass. Sounds good. I'll roll the level up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. Get rid of a Tempered Steel. Mm -hmm. Level on rain. Bring out sort of sea. Gotcha. Uh, recollect, draw. Savage Slash into the Dream Fairy? Mm -hmm. Um... For three. Using Soul. Right. Mm, yeah, that'll die. Okay. Then I'll pass. Go ahead. Gotcha. Um, I'm gonna go into Lorraine 1 mm -hmm. with Sword of Seeking. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six. Getting rid of Wind Rider. Um, recollect and draw. And then I'll get rid of the Fire Bubble to draw. I'm going to go two down for a Banner Knight. Yep. Um, I'll swing one at you with the Banner Knight. Take one. Uh, and I'll swing one at you with the Swift Recruit. Take one. And I'll pass. Banish Savage Slash. Go under Drawn Blade. Draw a card. Recollect. And draw. Where's the hand? Uh, three. Or, er, sorry, four. Four, okay. One down, blazing throw the drawn blade. Kill off your banner knight with uh, four damage. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, I will pay two to Zephyr the banner knight. Sure. Uh, 
Dungeon guide? <clears throat> Tough. Uh, you want to just pick two, one through four? Uh, yeah, one and two. One and two. Double ghost. All right. Going into level two, and then I'll swing the level two for three into your swift recruit. Yup, got him. Sword breaks, I draw a card. Uh, this is probably incorrect, but I'm just gonna do it. Dungeon guide. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Give me another two numbers. Uh, four and five. Four and five. Yeah, there's the Ansel. I was All begging right. for that to happen. Uh, uh, Spirit yeah. Ruler, and then we'll bring back Drawn Blade. Yep. Draw card. Swing one and swing one. Okay. And I'll pass. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna go GCR. Recollect and draw. Oh, sorry, Banner Knight's back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Recollect draw. Um, I'll pop the ring to draw. Okay, I'll go mm, one at you with the banner knight. Uh, you froze for a second. It's working again. Yeah, I think we're back. Sorry, you played scroll okay. and swung where? Uh, two at you. Uh, it would be one, I think. Is it? Uh, the banner knight. Oh, oh, right. I'm level one. You're right. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Yeah, so one. Um, Am I at six or two? Yes. Okay, cool. And then I'll go... Um, go. Okay. I will go four down for Ace and Protector. Yeah. Um, I'll swing one at you with Lorraine. Take one. Um, I'll pay one for an inspiring call. Nice, yep. And draw one into memory, and then, um, swing four at you. Go to 11 to two. Yep. Uh, and I'll pass. Okay. I'm gonna go GCR, hop, draw, recollect, draw. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see here. Let's put two down, phone by fire on the draw blade. Gain a durability, yep. gain two attack, swing three into the banner knight. Yep, kill it. Back down to four. Uh, put two down, Ghost of Pendragon. Put the Drawn Blade back. Draw two. Swing Ghost into Asin, and then a Dungeon Guide into Asin. Okay, gotcha. Then we'll swing Dungeon Guide into you for one. Mm -hmm. And I'll pass, go ahead. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna go... Lorraine too. Um, I'll use the Swift Recruit, and then um, one one through six. I'll roll. Sure. Uh, it's a one. That's so a Veiling Breeze. Um, and then I will recollect and draw. Um, so I, 
I banished two of your ghosts, right? Yeah, yeah. I did it on the level up. Right. Um... I will go... I'll go two down for rallied advance with the sword at ghosts for four. Yep, he does. Okay. And I'll draw a card. Um, and then I'll go... Mm, I'll go three down for a dream fairy at one of the dungeon guides. Sounds good. Um, and then I'll swing two at or one at you. Yep, take one. Go to twelve. Yep. Um, and then I will pass. I'll go Excalibur, recollect, draw. Uh, we will do one, two down. Uh, I should have swung first, but it's all right. Uh, return Excalibur, draw two. Um, and I was thinking, no way he has the fourth Pendragon, right? I don't need a Dream Fairy yet. <laughs> no, I, I, I totally get that, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll cremate the dungeon guy, just missing my one damage is all over the place here. Draw two. Uh, I'll put... Three down, creative. Draw two. Discard a flame rune. Then I'll swing three. Mm -hmm. Okay, take three. Go ahead. Gotcha. Um, all right. I'm going to go poison coating oil, um, recollect and draw. I'll put three down for lurking assailant. Yeah. Um, banish the poison coating oil and then swing four at the ghosts. Ghost dies. Um, I'll swing one at you with dream fairy. Take one. And then I'll pass. I'll banish flame rune. Go into drawn blade. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. Uh. Or why not? I'll home by pirate. Mm -hmm. Collect, draw. Um, Banner Knight. Flame Sweep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yup. I'll go to 12. Uh, one into you. Yep. I'll put two down for a shield mate and pass. Go ahead. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. I'll go Terra Fring. Uh, recollect and draw. So three down, Dream Fairy. Um, targeting the Banner Knight. Yep. Um, and then I'll swing one at the shield mate 
And then I'll put down Squirrel Swing 1 at the Shield Knight. Sure. And then I'll uh, pass. Uh, yeah. I will bring out... Caliber. Uh, Restand. Draw. Uh, anything on the Terra Frank? Uh, no. Okay. On Terra Frank. How many cards in hand? Just one. No Veiling. Maybe a Resolute? How many cards in memory? Uh, three. Okay, well, if I Resolute... Okay, like, if you Resolute... So... Flame sweep with the first sword for three. Okay. Um, I'll die. Take three, 16. Blazing throw the drawn blade for four. Uh huh. 20. And I'll just pass. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I actually had nothing. I just wanted to see if it would make you play different. Sure, sure. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. I guess I'll go tithe proc. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four. Getting rid of a squirrel, and I'll draw and enter. Recollect draw. Um, I think I just lose here. Uh, I'll pass for right. <laughs> game. For sure, yeah. I'll bring out Seer Sword with the floating memory. Uh, and then we'll recollect draw, and I'll play. Good way to end the night. Spirit Blade Dispersion. Uh, remove oh. five counters and. Hit you for five. Gotcha. Cool. Good stuff. Man, I uh have been having a hard time drawing Onsoul tonight, dude. And like in, to be oh, fair, yeah? in this match, I definitely greeted and took almost a 50-50 on banishing Onsoul. Um but uh yeah, it's it's been a, it's been a struggle. But uh deck's been oh. really fun. Yeah. Seems like a cool deck. What's um what's the reason that you put Valiant Breeze in the Wind Allies deck, if you don't mind me asking? Um, so I actually ran it at Ascent for the um Fire Merlin. Or, or no, sorry, Fire Lorraine. And oh, sure. it worked well, and I just haven't updated my list that much since. Gotcha. Okay. So, that makes sense. <laughs> so I mean I feel like Fire Lorraine is pretty not great now with water doing what it's doing yeah but um people still play yeah it. yeah exactly and so it did it did actually save me uh one match at ascent so i oh, just have funny. like a i have a fondness for it now <laughs> sure so, i get it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure and All then right. of course I couldn't pull it against jimmy but uh it, it was uh it did save me in one fire lorraine matchup yeah, no, I, I bet it'd be really close, especially after Ascent, when, like, people definitely don't think that they're, you're, you'd be on Veiling. Um, yep. But, uh, yeah, anyways, it, it's late for me, man, so I'm going to call it, but uh, lovely playing against you. Hopefully I'll see you uh, in a future week. Yeah, good to see you. All right, peace, man. Have a good okay. night. Okay, we need to go report these results. It's so hungry doing these. Okay, this over. Y'all, I need to run an ad before we do anything else. I've ran like three of these tonight. It's not been good. Uh, okay. Definitely an interesting run with the deck. Um, honestly, for 
building it today and playing one match before the tournament crazy how little i want to change about it definitely need to touch the hone by fires i think banner knights need to go as well um but that's you know two different cards that i want to that i want to change out of the entire list which is pretty crazy um and i might tweak the ratios of a couple other cards i haven't decided yet but i'm definitely not giving up on this deck yet i think it's uh it's definitely got some some interesting ranks and I don't know if that's just because it's a Fire Lorraine deck, right? Like, it might just be doing well when other Fire Lorraine decks would do well in the same game. Uh, that's definitely the issue. But uh, it's 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 definitely a fun deck. This is going to become, I think, my like new pet deck. Because as of today, I've officially retired Mill. I've been trying to make that deck work since set one. I've tried every single class that you could do. I feel like I've tried every single like Mill you could think of um and it just doesn't work at all not even close so that's been my pet deck that like when i kind of don't know what else to try to play i just play that for fun i think this is going to become the new one the throw your swords at your opponent lorraine i think that is the new pet deck for sure uh if i was playing in yeti next week i'd probably bring this with a, a couple slight changes and a little bit more testing However, like I said, there won't be a stream next week. We will be in Florida. So, uh, doing the regionals down there. Hopefully, we come back with a bunch of fast cures. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining tonight. Um, we are done with the tournament. Uh, went 2-2 two -two tonight with the throw your swords at your opponent deck. And I do feel like we had... A very legitimate chance at winning the other two rounds uh just did get a little un unfortunately uh unlucky um yeah it is late for me it is past midnight so uh i think we're gonna call it here thank you guys so much for joining in um links down in the description below for our discord that is usually where i'll be posting deck list of what i play in yeti um i think we link yeti's discord as well in the live streams i can't remember uh if not Join our Discord. We'll link the Yeti live, uh, the Yeti Discord there. It's definitely a Discord that you want to check out. They have not only these weekly events every Thursday, but they have league play as well. So just to play casual games, um, you can get prizes for, which is really awesome. So uh, and make sure to check out our website. We have um, a bunch of cool stuff on there: merch, set three pre-orders, and regionals tickets for the Michigan regionals happening on the 16th of December. So uh, and then we also have Patreon. Last plug of the night. Um, check out our Patreon, also linked below. Um, ton of good stuff on there. Truly believe it's one of the best valued Patreons out there. Um, and I have seen other community members say that as well. And we have barely anyone cancel their subscription. So uh, yeah, definitely worth checking out. And thank you guys so much. I'm going to roll an ad and see you later. And for you guys that have YouTube Premium, you get to see uh, the teardown. <laughs> I have to wait just a little bit before shutting down the stream. All right. Oh, that's right. We can change this to stream ended. <laughs>